There said, we go. Some announcements before we begin. I'm sure you choice. What? Oh, I'm sorry, you said you're so off center, but I'm always like, the center of the goal? Boy, I never hit that mark. I'm always like way over here. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> a little, on my overlay, everyone's a little. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, Tildify, Color of Change, it's our charity of choice. So if you can donate, please do. It's a really great charity. They do a lot of good uh, for marginalized communities. So check it out. Boom. Well, not marginalized communities, but people of color. Boom. In the chat and in our VODs and all that stuff. Patreon. I am currently in the process of designing May's free adventure slash encounter. Uh, it's not going to be out May 1st. It's going to be out first week of May. Probably to coincide with the inspiration is based off of. It's called The Tall Lady. And it's dealing with people in a mansion being chased by a very tall woman. Uh, and we, when you start the adventure, you don't have any weapons or your equipment. You have to find your equipment in the house. Very akin to a Resident Evil game. Capcom is... I, I love how much they know what they're doing with that. I'm so excited. Anyways! They, re they released a life-size body pillow cover of her. They did. And speaking of life-size body pillows, last we left off... Which D&D character... Which, which, which channel D&D &D character should we release a body pillow cover of? I don't know. Old Dilly. Old Dilly. Uh, but yes... Yeah, Drock would make a great body Before pillow. we... Last That's we left off, you all... Continued your little trek towards the capital to uh, bring this criminal to justice. Uh, that was that was criminals plural, but then baths happened. Yes. Gotham City all over again. Yes. As we so often do. But uh, on the way, before leaving, you were registered basically, so no one would stop you on the road with a person tied up in the back of your wagon uh, and continue your trek down the road towards an undeal city which will take seven days with long rest included and it was a you know a rather uneventful trip no it wasn't uh, incredibly rainy it was a big rainy day it's still raining right it's still raining oh, it's so rainy it's so rainy it's still a very gross downpour I need to figure out whose window I'm operating right now. You know what? I'm not going to show the stream the battle map tonight because this is it's too much of a kerfuck, kerfuckle to mess with. Yep. Kerfuckle. So, I like that. Um, you guys will see it next week. Um, or if there's a battle map next week. Anyways, yes, you were traveling on the road. 
It was pouring rain the entire time. The road was getting muddy. And as evening dawned... That doesn't make sense. As evening happened, you, you and your cart were accosted by giant bats that had killed the commoners you were traveling with right away because I forgot they were at one hit point from being stabilized. So the party was chasing a corpse through the woods for a little bit. Kind <clears> of <throat> The giant bats were dealt with. Their flesh made into steaks. And you all <laughs> had a nice little camp in, some in a large tent in the pouring rain. Nothing really happened at night. So you continued on in the second day of your trip towards Giant's Cradle, the next settlement on your journey. And the rain did not let up. The roads were getting quite muddy, difficult terrain. Significantly increasing your travel time to Giant's Cradle because of this. A trader passed, told you all to stay safe. You're nearing Giant's Cradle. They've been keeping their gates locked at night because of prowling wolves. And lo and behold, as evening fell, out of the corner of Druk's eyes saw five wolves prowling just off the road, noticing the lone prey away from the group. And we're going to start with everyone rolling initiative for a battle map that chat can't see. Boom! Ooh! I love that ox. <laughs> mm. Yep. I love the tree colors. All right. Can I go to 13 for initiative? Oof. Uh, coin, what'd you get? You muted. Uh, coin, no, I got you. Thank you. Uh, I got a 15. Druck. 13. Okay, it's probably good that you get high on your initiative. Dax. Yeah. <laughs> 21. Then. 16. Nice. So, Dax, you go first. Oh, I forgot the wolf's wolf pretty high, too. <laughs> sure, they're pretty Daxy. So, Dax. Each of these squares are five feet, correct? Yup. Druck is 60 cut. feet away from the front of the cart. From the front. From the ox, basically, yeah. So I could use my movement and my dash to get. How much do it was it would it cost to jump off the cart? It's nothing. You just jump off. Ken is hey. the only one it would take uh, half movement to get off the cart because you steal. Oh it. man, some scout I am. <laughs> <gasps> this foliage is very thick on the side, so any creature in the woods has like three quarters cover. Thirty, and then I'm gonna use. So my... Druck like just like saw them with their passive perception, like the wolves were still okay. pretty good. Oh right, and I shouted out. That's yeah. how they. That's yep. how they are part of the initiative. Got yep. it. And I'm gonna. Nope, do that after, and then I'm going this to really use my. Bonus be. action to dash. Okay, so another 30 feet. 20, 25, 30, and... Wait, bonus action to dash? It was your, it'd be your action to dash because you're not a... Yeah, you don't, you action! Can't. I'm yeah. an idiot. Sorry. Okay, um, you get there. Oh, it's difficult terrain, so your movement's all halved because it's muddy. So you wouldn't be there. <laughs> Uh-oh, so, so I'd be... You can, you can move 30 feet total, so you'd be back where you were. So I'd be here. Yep. That's with your movement and dash. Oh no! Yeah. Okay. Real muddy. You jump down and. Um. Which means, yeah, the ox is also yeah. movement, but the ox has pretty good movement speed. Oh no! Anyways, uh, that's your action and movement. Yeah. Um. No, I need to take. Uh, I'm gonna end my turn there. Okay. You gonna rage? Can you do that? Can you... Yeah, it's a new day. You want to rage? If they don't hit me within... Right, never mind. It's probably not worth it. That's... Yeah. All right. Three wolves turns. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a difficult train for them as well, though. But they have a movement speed of 40 feet, so they can move 20 feet. 5, 10, 15. Uh-oh. You guys at the cart see a wolf just come... <laughs> 
lumbering out of the woods and race towards the lone druck. Does not get advantage because it's not within five feet of another wolf. It's going to go for a bite attack. For right out of the gate, nineteen plus four, twenty-three. Uh, it actually, it actually does get advantage. Why? Because uh, Druck is essentially blind in within five feet. Like, I don't know. That's kind of like that's the thing. that's your choice. Like, that's your choice. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 right. how I've made advantage. it. Advantage. Those are not, yeah. So twenty-three to hit. Uh, which hits? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is so brutal. Uh, five piercing damage. All right. And I need you to make a strength saving throw to resist being knocked prone as the wolf slams into you. Strength saving throw. Nine. Druck is knocked prone by this wolf. Kapow. Prone. All right, that's that wolf's turn, bringing us to the other two wolves that are going to come running in. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty... It's going to bite with advantage. Pack tactics, anyway. Oh, boy. Andy's prone? Yeah. Like, double advantage. Double secret advantage. <laughs> double secret uh, advantage. Oh, I didn't roll good, though. Six plus four. Nah, I don't think a ten hits. Uh, no. It just swore, no. slips in the mud a little, bringing us to another wolf. I just like, you, I just like the idea of you losing now. Five, ten, fifteen. So you guys see three wolves come running out and just start swarming over Drog. <laughs> Yeah, well, those uh, are no joke, guys. 18 plus 4 to hit. That hits. Ugh. 8 piercing damage. <clears throat> I got 4 hit points left. Druck, it's your turn. Well, I guess I'm going to use half my movement speed. To stand up. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think to more efficiently do this... I will use my bonus action to disengage and my action to dash so that I can move a full 30 feet. Okay. So, uh, wait, yes. Yeah. No? Yes. Yes. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yep. Okay. Uh, no longer prone. Right, I'll remove that. Cool. All right. Ruff just gets up and starts sprinting towards the cart, just Oof. bleeding and covered in mud. Dangerous. <laughs> all right. Good lord, are you all right? Uh, is that your turn, Druck? Action bonus. I use yeah. everything. Ven. Okay. The closest wolf from you is. Mm-hmm. No, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something first that doesn't involve the wolves. I'm gonna move up to here to the front of the cart, okay. hop over yep. hop over onto the yep. under the seat riding shotgun. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lean forward and pat the ox on the ass. Um and I'm gonna cast mage armor on the ox. <laughs> uh so its AC becomes thirteen plus its dex, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that so I hope that increases its AC. It has zero dex. So oh, no. it, its AC goes from ten to thirteen. Oh, that's, that's still no. something. That's a, yeah. yeah, that's, that's a, good. That's, that's not I nothing. I need to leave myself a note about that. I will. I'll also try and remember too. Here. Yeah, yeah. Because I was like, oh yeah, major armor has a range of touch. That's good to know. Here. AC is now thirteen. Just because more friends. This is this is like me forgetting for a whole session. So, <laughs> advantage on wisdom. This shimmering yeah. little magic just <clears throat> encompasses the ox. <laughs> that's uh, and then I'm just. Yeah, and I'm just going <laughs> to lean over to Druck, just like, come on, come on, get on the cart, get on the cart. All right, coin. Uh, so movement-wise, uh, what would it take for me to... From the position I'm in, mm -hmm. since the cart is what seems to be, up, according to our map, it seems to be... 10 feet wide, roughly. 10 feet wide, but 20 feet long? Is roughly, that... yeah. Most okay. So I can't I can't make it to a boy out there, can I? Nope. I can't even make a good throw, can I? Not really. All right. Um yeah, I guess I'm gonna Oh my god. This mud is probably at least 
knee high knee to deep. you it'd be like waist deep oh Probably. Hip. yeah hip deep in mud you yeah. know i'm slow. actually so until i jump into the mud it's so since since the card is 20 can i i guess i, I guess i don't know what the difference would be if i can hold on Okay. Instead of being 15 feet, thank you. I appreciate everyone's pregnant pause. That was wonderful. Can I, can I run a, across the cart and then across the ox? Uh, to run across the ox, I w I'd want you to give me a uh, just an acrobatics check. Okay, I want to I want to parkour across that ox. Yeah, okay. let's go. So give me an acrobatics <laughs> check to parkour across the ox. All right. So, all right. Um, uh, here's, here's the here's the parkour. For across the axe. For across the ox. Okay. We're going to look at my stats because I'm still learning them. I am no longer a flip wizard, but this guy is much better at wizard shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> pardon my French. Uh, so, uh, that was uh, 16 to okay. parkour across the ox. So, you so move the 20 feet to get to the ox. And you mm -hmm. start park. You can. You're on the ox currently with 20 feet of movement. Oh, with 20 feet of movement. Yeah, that'd be 25 right there. Yeah, so that's okay. 20. Uh, and then they're at least 60 feet from there. The wolves, yeah. Roughly. Mm -hmm. And Druck is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet away from you. All right. So Dash would get me 15 more feet. Yes. Once you hit the mud, yeah. Or you could jump from here, and you can jump as many feet. Uh, in length, you can jump as many feet as your strength score, strength modifier. So if it's zero, your minimum length you could jump is 10 feet. Uh, then so you could it... jump off the ox and get 10 feet of clearance, and then you can move 15 feet. So it's 11 feet, because my strength is one, right? It's, yeah, but there's a grid, so it'd be 10 feet. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> of course. <laughs> all right, so I am going, I, uh, I actually, all right. So I'm going to more, um, perhaps narratively and cinematically, tell you what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> so Coin, seeing two, two to three wolves try and get their teeth into my fuzzy bugbear friend, uh, he stands up on the back of the bench and <laughs> jumps over the prisoner, jumps mm -hmm. past the myconid, pushes through, uh, pardon, excuse. <laughs> Jumps, runs over the back of the wolf, and then full splayed out dive runs yeah. uh, 10 feet and then sp uh, splashes another 15. Uh, okay. Who's that? So, one, two, three. So, you'd be right. in one of the squares, you wouldn't be on a line. Oh, sorry. Thank yeah. you. So, like here yep. is where I. Sure. Yep. Uh, action bonus. Uh, or no, that was, that was uh, full action. Action movement. Yep. Um. Uh, and bonus action, I am going to cast uh, divine favor. Okay. On on myself. Alrighty, cool beans. All right, brings us to Morgo, who's like, "Uh, what's happening?" That's his turn because he's restrained. Uh, <laughs> he's not gonna try to get away this time. <clears throat> Kenna. All right, what are they gonna do? They got mad at me last. K got mad at me last time for using one of Produce Flames. <laughs> so produce, isn't Produce Flame a cantrip? It is. Cantrip. Yeah, that's all I was using was Produce Flame, and then yeah. I did some other stuff too. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I think we're all I did was use Produce. <laughs> no, every time just... I cast no, every time I cast Produce Flame from mm -hmm. her or from them, I was taking off spell slots. <laughs> Oh, oh, that would be why. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you said. I thought. I, I know. I remember you using healing spells. Oh, yeah, I was using healing spells. Never mind. Yeah, the, that anyway, was, that was, that was, she was upset that you used all her healing spells. Well, that's, that was that's what. Oh. That's what druids do. If there's a <laughs> the party that can do it. Uh, so Are you sure about that though? She's gonna. I feel attacked. Use her only ranged thing and draw a short bow, which she's not very good at. Very good with. Not proficient in it. <laughs> Plus one to hit, and she's gonna shoot one of the. Wolf. Oh, wait, hold on. 5, there. 10, 15, 20. There. Thank you. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70 feet away is the closest one. Whew. Almost at max range. Shooting to shoot the short bow. 
The plus one. 16 to hit. That hits a wolf. For four piercing damage. Okay. See? Everything's good. That wolf's looking hurt. Not really. Uh, <laughs> mark off one arrow. Wait. Why don't they have arrows on their character sheet? Because druids don't start with short bows. Whatever. Uh... Most likely have to, they most likely have 20 arrows, so 19. Okay. Cool. There. Sorted. Two more wolves. Oh boy. There also have to be, though, because of the mud. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh! Dash action to move another 5 feet. That's its turn. 5, 10. Hold on. 5, 10. 15, 20, dash action, 5, 10, 15. Boom! Get up on coin. Uh, that's going to bring us to our little Mike and friend who's going to stand up and go... We can't talk. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All of his stuff has been 5 feet. Uh... It's gonna stay there, cause like, yeah, what's it gonna do? <sighs> the ox's turn. All right, <clears throat> which means the entire cart's gonna move on the ox's turn. Oh, that that'd be fun. So half movement, fifteen feet. So five, ten, fifteen. It's gonna get to there. Oh, I moved Dax by accident. Hold on. Oh, you can move the full cart. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Uh, where was the cart? Anyone remember? About five feet back from that. It should, you should yeah, be about five feet ten, back from you that. Be ten feet behind me because I jumped ten feet. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you I just I need to move Dax token out of the way for a second. <laughs> Bye. Five, ten, fifteen. It gets to there. Uh, can I take the dodge action? <laughs> Just use the dash action. I mean, right? Or then it would run over oh, it, 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 it would it bump, it run over all of you with the cart. So yeah, that's true. Like My that. poor tiny little body. Uh, all right, and Dax was right here. So Dax almost got clipped by the cart. Um, that's the ox's turn. It's gonna take the dodge action. I mean, uh, <laughs> Dax. <clears throat> All right, so we got 5, 10, 15. I could dash. Oh, poor coin. We're not letting that happen to you, buddy. 5, 10. Okay. Just so you know, anyone who's in front of the ox's car on the next turn is getting trampled. Just so everybody knows. That's valid. So he's the ox is just booking it out of here, just <clears throat> like, just, just panic running. He wants to charge, Five, so he can use its gore attack. It's gore ability. Okay. I am going to... Bonus action rage. Okay. And then you might get trampled there because the ox was gonna go after you and. I still have five feet of movement to get to the side. Okay. They only use ten. So you can reach the wolf, that one wolf from there. Yep. And great axe. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Seventeen plus six. That misses. No, I'm kidding. That hits. My heart. You threw the mud and just. Oh. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! Eleven plus four, plus. Stop counting. Two. Okay. Wolves have a, wolves don't have a lot of hit points. <laughs> so that wolf, you just bring down the axe to its spine and just it drops into the mud. Oh. Just looks to coin for Bahamut and... Ah, yeah. <laughs> yes, Bahamut. <laughs> and then she just uses the last five feet. To get out of the movement. way. Okay. Get out of the way. Uh, that's going to bring us to some more wolves. The ones that are down here. The three that are down here. They can see the ox charging. And wolves are intelligent creatures. Five, ten, fifteen... 
20, because they get full 20 feet of movement. And then dash to go 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, dang. Yeah. Wait, wolves aren't intelligent. They have a plus 2. They're stupid. <laughs> Either way, they're not going to just chill while an ox is charging at them. <laughs> and they um, just saw their friend get murdered. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. Dash, 5, 10, 15, 20. You're going to dash into the woods to get three quarters cover. And... Yeah, this one's going to get three quarters cover as well. 5, 10, 15, 20. Nice. Uh, it's awesome actually... that you're using that. Yeah, Druck, it's your turn. Uh, okay. It takes half movement. Because you said that uh, getting on this vehicle was like mounted combat, so it would take half my movement to get on it, correct? Yeah. So that means I would need half my... So that means it would be... I would need five feet to mount it. Because half my movement speed in difficult terrain is five feet. Yeah. So you need five feet of movement to get into the cart. Okay. That's not including a dash, correct? Correct. Okay. So. My boy's hurt. <laughs> he's... He's he's on the ropes. He's he's gonna he's gonna bob and weave. Uh, five. Are you disengaging? Oh, well, he's dis bonus action okay. disengage. Thank you, Justin. Five, ten, fifteen, and then he's going to use his I need to, action. I need to double check something with disengage. Because you'd be entering melee with another wolf. Does disengage disengage you for, for the, the entire for round? your turn okay. for your turn? Yeah. Disengage works for the whole turn. Okay. Uh, and then uh, action dash and the only way, just everybody knows the only way to board the cart without having to like climb up it and use more movement is the back so oh you have okay. to get to the back to climb on easily okay uh, it's not easily is that perhaps is that a roll like a, a strength check or an acrobatics check it'd be an action to do so to do something that right. finicky yeah of course so of course. I'm gonna thank you so from here I have 15 movement left. Yeah. Justin, is it possible for me to get on the cart from here? That cart's 20 feet long. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, like, a, it would still use my movement speed. Difficult terrain, if my speed is already half... I say you could get onto the side of the cart holding on. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Okay, so I'll take that. You'd be... I'll take that. I'm right here, hanging on. Yep. All right. We'll just say I'm hanging on. Okay, so you're gonna move with when the cart moves. All right. Cool. Uh, anything else? That's you. Oh, yeah, that's that's it. That's yeah. everything. Ven. All right. Cool. right. Uh, Drak is looking terrible and is right next to me, right? Yes. Yep. Within touching distance. Okay. Then I'm gonna let me double check. This is the first time I'm using this. Uh, oh, it's within 30 feet. I didn't even need to... Well, I'm going to use them on... Uh, I'm going to use it all on Druk. Uh, take out that holy symbol. I'm going to clutch it tight, mutter a prayer, and I would like to use my channel divinity feature. Yeah, go for it. And I'm going to heal Druk by 10 hit points. But what are you talking about? You're a wizard. I know. <laughs> all right, so you heal Druk by 10 hit points. Yep. You're a wizard, Benny. <laughs> Is uh, this the Harry Potter rent mix the uh, mashup? Ooh, fuck yes. Oh, oh, she'd hate, she'd hate that. Wouldn't oh, she? um, this feature can restore no more than half their hit point max, so I can only get uh, um, huh? eight hit points from that. What are you? What are you looking at? Uh, oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So I can only get eight. That's true. Um, does any, has anyone else taken damage? Nope. Okay. Uh, I'll get. I'll give you the eight. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. So you're at twelve. That's that's, that's all but two. But yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, anything else, Ben? Uh, nope. That'll be it. All right. Coin. The ox is like barreling down at you. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, since uh, so okay, so so one good turn deserves another. Uh, Coin is going to pull a sword out, do a little tuck roll over next to Dax. Okay. Nice. And uh, that's a, a somersault forward, and then coming up with a swing on that uh, wolf, trying to unzip this little. Alrighty. Tiny little hound. Go for it. Okay. So does hey here we go. Oh, show me, show me, show me. Where are my stats? I need to memorize these stats a lot more. Okay. So does a thirteen hit? A thirteen does hit. Only just. Ooh. Oh. Okay. So then that is um, D8 plus 3 D8. Uh, okay, so that's uh, 7 plus 3, and then I'm going to... Nice. Then I have uh, the Divine Favor on, which adds 1D4, which I'm rolling. So 13 total... Oh. Uh, damage on this hound. You roll up, and that wolf no longer has a head. Yeah, I unzip him, just, just belly to chin. All and right, so everything it. spills out into the mud. Approving nod from Dax. There's something weird in the entrails, though. Uh, I've got five more meat of meat of movement. Meat of movement, gross. Uh. Can I roll up on top and take a look at it? Or I, it's we're in the middle of battle. I probably don't have enough wherewithal. It's to... weird though. It, it there's something like shimmering. Okay, uh, I am going to take just the last five steps of my movement, uh, just to the side here. Okay, cool. That'll bring us to Morgo, who's like, okay, I hear wolves. Can I? <laughs> oh my god, is he down in the cart? Yeah, he's restrained, tied up in the cart. Yeah. Uh, Kenna is going to throw produce flame at this one right here. Hold on, actually, maybe not. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's just within 30 feet. Just within range of produce flame. So, 17 to hit, which hits for 2 fire damage to that wolf. And that wolf has been hit before, so that wolf's not looking great. Okay. Cool beans. Boom, boom, boom. Mike and Ed time. It's going to stay on the card. Uh, it's going to hold an action, though, to do its pacifying spores if a wolf gets within five feet. Ox time. Here we go. I got to move <laughs> Dax and Coin out of the way for a second. Mm -hmm. As the ox is going to go five, ten. Yes! Fifteen! It can use its charge to... Uh, oh, shit. Dax, I need to make, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw because a druck might knock you out. Knock, it might hit it, knock into you. Yeah, it makes Sweet. sense. Good, okay. <laughs> Dex save! 12. Well, for Dax, not for you. Dex. Oh, sorry. 16, 17, 18? Okay, you're gonna, you leap back five feet, so you're right here. And coin was right here. Mm -hmm. Yep, so. Yeah, the ox just. That's not, that's not the noise ox make. But, anyways. It's going to use its charge. Move Because it, if it moves at least 20 feet. Never mind, it moved 15. It can't do with the charge. Okay. And gore attack them with its horns. It gets up to the wolf. 22 to hit. For max damage. 10 piercing damage. That wolf is shish kebabbed on the end of the wolf's. On the end of the ox's horns, just tossed to the side. So that wolf is dead. The ox just fucking annihilated it. Uh, all right. Cool. Nice. Back to the top to Dax. I can get into these woods, right? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna go a five, a ten, and then still with my, uh, yeah. Still great with axe. her great axe, she's gonna. Okay. 
Okay, these two wolves are immaculate. They have not been hit yet. Come on, Boa Dice. Fuck you, Boa Dice. Yeah, fuck Boa. <laughs> Hodge remembers. <laughs> What'd you get? Nine. That misses. The wolf just... Actually, it's a lot of, like, underbrush and branches. Once the wolves are so concealed, so you're just kind of... You get caught up on branches. All right, anything else? Nope. Okay. The wolf's going to remember that and make a bite attack against you. <laughs> the wolf will remember this. <laughs> so, fun fact, since you're also in these woods, Dax, you have three quarters cover as well. Because you're in this underbrush as well. Meaning, so this is still difficult terrain because it's so okay. thick. Um, so you're no longer in mud, just the brush is very thick. Uh, so, Dax, your AC is currently... 15. Plus 5. So you have 20. Your AC is currently 20 with three quarters cover. Does that does that count for melee attacks? Yeah. Awesome. Cool. I always thought it was nope. just ranged yeah, attacks. Melee that's is cool. cool. Nice. Uh, that's a 16 plus 4, though, so that hits. <laughs> just <laughs> hits. Oh, God. God. <laughs> it's like, no, this is how you hit. Uh, uh, five piercing damage. I need you to make a strength saving throw or be knocked down uh, into the ground. Reduced to half because I'm raging. Right. So you take two. Sweet. Quick math. Wait. Yeah, two. And strength save, you said? Yes, please. I am not using the boa dice. Fuck you, boa dice. Does she get to do it at advantage just because she's raging? No? Okay, cool. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I haven't played a barbarian. Yeah, I no, do. Wait, oh, with, yeah? with strength save? You gain advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Oh, well, yeah, with advantage then. Cool. Thank fuck for that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Ten. Ten. Fuck you. That, that fails. Oh. You are knocked prone. Fuck both of these dice. They're you run into the woods to attack the wolf. You miss, and then it just bites you, and you fall to the ground. All right. So we're gonna bring us to the other remaining wolf. Pay for your crimes. Who? Let's see here. You all hear a voice kind of around the forest, and it just oh. says, "What's up?" Oh. And this wolf is going to basically leave combat. Oh. Just 5, 10, 15, 20, dash, 5, 10, 15, 20. Boom, off the map. So no longer in the initiative order. Cannot be seen with how far away it is in the forest. Druck. That one got a taste of me. That one that just ran away. Yeah. It, yeah. No, no uh, sight so, of it. Yeah. Druck, uh, he's on the side here. Then yep. just picked him up from the edge of death. <laughs> after after he just <laughs> essentially just looks at him. <laughs> and how how did that look when you when you healed him? I assume it's because it's a thirty foot radius. I assume yeah. it's something like clutch onto the clutch onto the holy symbol, mutter prayers to the Lord of the Dawn life, and then it's just like I imagine just like swirls of golden dawn energy just radiate out of a 30 foot radius and then just like just coalesce. just like yeah just coalesce on you and your as your wounds close up yeah druck takes his big paw puts it on your shoulder as he like climbs up into the wagon i like your book magic the th thank you <laughs> and he just gives you a nice clap on the back and uh, uh and uh he's gonna i guess i guess he's gonna try to grab i don't know if he should move there or he's gonna try to slow the ox down uh so that it doesn't take off without our friends I'd like that's to use my do. action to do that like an animal handling animal handling check okay 25 all right the ox looks like it'll probably stop moving on its turn Cool. Get on. We need to go. All right, Ven. And then I'll um, use, and then I'll use the rest of my movement to get into the. Okay. Back. Uh. Lord of the Dawn, life cleanse this foul, corrupted creature. Uh, deck save from the one in the woods. Uh. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, cover flame. Yeah, you can see it. Yep. It's considered lightly obscured. Ignores cover and, and concealment. Yep. Right, deck save. 
That's fucking garbage. <laughs> uh, that's a four. Nice. Takes all of uh, one point of radiant damage. <laughs> nice. Sacred flame. Yep. All right. First low level cantrips. Yay. They're fun. <laughs> Firebolt. That's the only one you should. The only one you should take. Anyways, anything else? Uh, nope. That's it. Okay. Coin. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run up on this fool. The guy you can see Dax knocked on the ground. Uh, it does have three. This wolf does have three quarters cover, so its AC is bumped up by five. You said Dax was knocked on the ground. Yeah, Dax is currently prone. The wolf's technically kind of like ripping into her. All right. Um. What was the? Uh, can I assess what, what kind of damage that they've already taken? Like Dax. What uh, already... This wolf has taken one point of damage from Ven's sacred flame. It's looking great. Yes, but Dax, how much damage have they Dax taken? Dax is looking fine. Dax looks fine. Okay. She's hardy. All right. Uh, then yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing on this fool. All right, make an attack roll. Because yeah, you cl you you cleanse with flame and punishment. Oop. Okay. Does a ten hit? It does not. Did you roll with advantage because of pack tactics? I didn't. Nice. Thank you for reminding me, I need to remember that. Kobold. Yep. Oh, that is a that is a natural twenty. That's what that is. <laughs> its AC was eighteen because of its three quarters cover. So oh. go for it. All right. Roll so damage dice twice and add your modifier once. So all right. So I'm going to roll these two. I'm going to, yeah, uh, roll my modifier once, but then I'm also going to <laughs> right, roll my d4. Okay. So that is 12 damage overall that I do on this. Did pool. you roll the divine favor dice twice? I did not roll it twice. That's, is also, that that's also critted, yeah. That is dope as shit. I'm going to roll another d4 then. All right. Which gives me max damage on that, so that is uh, nine, twelve, uh, sixteen damage with a little. Nice. So like, I see what she's fine. <laughs> just like sword above the head. All right. Like, how do, wanna, yeah. how do you want to do this? That's the end of the battle map. So, so that is that is a, a run slog. So it's a thwop 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 running through mud, swinging the sword above the head, coming down across uh, into like. As as uh, basically, I'm trying to like have this uh, pooch that is chomping on my friend already. It and just like try and just clip into the side of All it. Right. It spills out Stop. into the mud. <sighs> it's still pouring rain. Around. We should keep moving. The card is stopped. So I, then I, I, I suppose, <laughs> I go to to reach up and realize how stupid that is. That I'm since I'm three feet tall. <laughs> oh, to like lift her up. Yeah, and I really. Oh, um. So good, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dax, huh? we'll still take his tiny little hand and just stand up very good uh that's very good yeah and take uh, take the the blade out of the the pooch and then wipe the blade off on okay. the pooch and then remember uh can i go look at this yeah you said it was one good... that had like a sparkle yeah. Yeah. out uh, of it so amidst the stomach contents of this one wolf you see mm -hmm. a smooth stone mm -hmm. uh, of brown and red in color, kind of like, you know, fall colors, um, with a rune carved into it. What's going on? 
found a stone that has a, a very like has a book magic letter in it. It is a letter I do not know. Does anybody speak of the book magic letters? I could certainly try. All right, how are your hands? Check them out. Awesome. Uh, make a, is that covered in wolf entrails? Make a if you're gonna catch it, make a just a dexterity check. Slide I'm not going to try and okay. catch it. I'm just gonna step to the side <laughs> as drug. No, drug will reach out. To okay, slide slide He's right slide behind. Hot potato. All right. Hot potato. <laughs> yeah. That stuff doesn't bother drug, so we'll see how it goes. Thirty twenty. You catch it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> He throws it at Ven, and it's coming right at Ven's face, and Druk just goes, <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Big man with the hands. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to turn and uh, I'm going to turn and cast uh, Cure Wounds on Druk okay. as thanks for uh, catching that. For 10 more points of health. Nice. Bag of full. Wow. <laughs> just, just, just catch it from my face, clap you back on the shoulder. Uh, holding the holy symbol, mutter a few words, and then just the wounds heal the rest of the way back up. And the the rain is at this point is washing off the stone anyway. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You see, Druk just kind of go through the extra effort of like <laughs> using the way the rain and some rubbing to kind of like get it cleaned off, and he just presents it to you. Thank, Thank you. I take a look at it, see if I recognize the rune. Around. Uh, <laughs> give me an Arcana check. All right, that I can do. Uh, and while he's doing that, Druk is just going to address Dax and Coin. Thank you. Uh, I've never um, enjoyed uh, people as skilled as you before. Um, then you didn't have to save me, and you did. I owe you. So what'd you get? Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, it is a. It, it is. It's. It's a sl slightly faded, probably with like you know the digestive fluids and mm -hmm. stomach acid and that. We can make out. It is the rune for the divination school of magic. Hmm. Uh, when we stop for the night, I can probably glean a bit more information if I can get some shelter. We will get you shelter if we can. You know. Uh. This. This whole sort of uh, drug. There's no. There's no o owing of anything. We all uh, are trying to go towards a, a common purpose. And if if you know if one of the legs of this stool but to be broken or to perhaps killed, if I'm mixing metaphors, if one of the legs of the stool were to be gone then the chair would fall over. So you are one of the legs of the stool on our of our party. So we would not let you collapse. So we would support you. Speaking of support, um, I want to pour in, uh, if I can, three points of lay on hands into Dax. I believe they're just down. It's just a few, right? What's yeah, what it, they're down by two. Oh, damn it. It's then it's just two points of lay on hands then into Dax. <laughs> to sort of heal up your little doggy bites. Hmm. Appreciate it, coin. And drug. Uh, it's all fair play where I am from. Well, then we'll call it a handshake. And he'll hold his hand in order to, like, get you guys back on the wagon. And they'll take it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I... Yeah, definitely... Oh, we going fast up. Okay. <laughs> and, you just, you, and you guys would like feel like a, a hearty, um, but not uh, a hearty clap on the back from him. Like there's a lot of like well in 10 going into that. You take it that this is a completely alien experience for him. Dax gives you a firm pat on the back and reciprocation. Just like a... Uh, coin, coin is... Uh, appreciates it and then starts to uh, go over to check out 
Morgo to see if he's tied up. Just yeah, just staying where he is. Do you have you enjoyed the rain as it comes down from the sky, giving you all sorts of life? No, no, no it is not it's good. Just falling on my face. Oh, okay. Well, then we will give you a small respite, and then he takes a his shield and holds it over the face okay. of ping, Warp, ping, so. ping, 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 ping. Um, I just rolled two con saves for the ox because you guys have been traveling for 10 hours and the ox has not had a rest. And it's succeeded on both. It's not exhausted yet. Uh, but yeah, you guys have traveled for 10 hours today. Um, and it's 10 more hours to the next settlement. So it is evening. The sun is beginning to set. Seems dangerous to make camp, but... Uh, perhaps obligated... Um, Justin, we, is there any like sign of structure, abandoned structures like farmhouses or wa old watchtowers or anything nearby? Uh, give me a perception check with disadvantage because of the pouring rain. All right, probably not gonna go well, but <laughs> did, did you say yep. everyone heard that that voice? Everyone heard the voice, yeah. Okay, I got a nine. Nine, not just forest. Strange, though. Did all of you hear a voice? Yes, that was concerning. It was unsettling, yes. Yes, I agree. Never heard something like that before. And he looks at Dax. Voices in my head are quite normal with me and my friend, but... I would agree that is strange. Mm. Must uh, put up extra defenses tonight, then. Did uh, do you who who do you think he was talking to, with the return? What did 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 everyone did all the the, the bad doggies? Did we get all of them, or did one escape? One escaped. Uh, one that. Yes, uh, Tasted. Here, what? Well, it's gone. And he looks at Ven and smiles, because <laughs> there was a chunk taken out of his arm. But, but oh. <laughs> healing magic—it's a hell of a thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's he's like so grateful right now. It's ridiculous. Like it's beyond anything. Yeah. Oh. Uh. So that one got away. Yeah. One of them. Uh, presumably that's the wolf that the voice was talking to, instructing it to return to whoever this person is. Uh, when we stop for the night, I'll be able to learn more hopefully uh, by applying some magical investigation to the stone. Well, we haven't, uh, we haven't started moving yet, so... Oh, yeah, you guys are still moving. You guys have been moving. Oh, we are? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I wasn't sure because... Okay, yeah. Good. So maybe uh, I would... Uh, well, well uh, you learn your book magic, I can take the first uh, shift and protect the camp while you observe you know your book magic and we uh, can I, camp and I should be able to I should be able to do it while we're uh, getting firewood and setting up camp and everything Colonel and I will prepare camp while we'll make sure to do uh, try to make extra defenses uh, just a reminder, because I think you guys stole three barrels. It took three barrels of mead from the meadery, so there are three barrels of mead in the cart as well. And the chest. Correct. As evidence. Yes, as evidence. I believe, I believe those are evidence. <laughs> also, it's probably smart not to try drinking the mead anyway. <laughs> yes, we shouldn't probably drink evidence as well as, uh, you know, drinking uh, possible poison, you know? 
But, Both sound uh, like a bad idea. Night eventually starts to fall. You can see you're losing sunlight, so setting up camp probably would be best. Uh, you do travel for another hour, though, so I need to make another con save for the ox, because you've been traveling for 11 hours. Okay. It gets one level of exhaustion. Okay. So it's, yeah, it's certain. You can see the ox is starting to get a little exhausted. Yeah, the thick mud in the rain doesn't help. Really clomping. All right. We might need to stop now. Yes, let us uh, stop. Do we need to feed this great animal? Do you we see need... it start to eat some of the grass on the side of the road? Oh, it's just a self-feeding animal. <laughs> that is very convenient. <laughs> um, but you can start setting up camp. Anybody want to do anything while camp is being set up? Uh, yes, I would like to... Um, uh, if there's a place... I, it, is there a way we can, is there a place where we can like back the card up uh, or one first question is it still raining yes okay uh then can i can i get an, can i find enough dry space like even if i have to like do this thing with my uh unseen servant and yeah like set up a tarp to do a ritual spell yep okay then i'm gonna do that in the back of the cart and i'm gonna cast identify as a ritual on this stone yeah already um it is a magical stone Okay. With the speak with am animal spell cast upon it. Mm. And uh, any animal that has digested, has swallowed one of these stones, can speak with any living creature without issue. Mm. So th these will, this wolf was fed this stone for communication purposes. So was the when the voice said return, does, did it sound like it was coming from the woods, or did it sound like it was coming from just kind of like emanating from? I couldn't really tell. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So based. So okay. If I'm understanding the enchantment correctly, though, it just it just allows the animal to understand any spoken speech. Language. Yeah. And is it is it understand or is it that the the animal can be understood too? Both. Okay. So it could have been, it could have been the wolf that said. Possibly. return to the other wolf or something else right okay so we don't it doesn't make that exactly conclusive all right i will as we're as we're gather, gathering up and do, making dinner i'll share this with everybody as i finish up the spell it seems that this uh stone allows any animal that digests it to speak and, and understand uh, human speech so that voice we heard could have been the wolf it could have been someone speaking to the wolf but as far as i can tell there's no distance element or telepathic element to it so if it wasn't the wolf then the person who spoke must have been nearby it functions similarly to yeah it functions similar to like a sending stone so oh you, does you it no there's like yeah there's definitely no distance tied to it oh so it does th so there is like another end where someone could yes so there, oh there, so yeah, okay yeah, sorry yeah there is another end where someone has to speak through it it's like an animal oh, okay, focused so sending stone yes Okay, so the so okay, so it's not so it the wolf couldn't just like understand us. It, ha, it can only understand the person who has other the person, other stone. Only, only yeah, the other person who has whatever has this other stone. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so then then that wouldn't so then I would know that wasn't the wolf that was speaking because correct. Yeah, that's we right. wouldn't be able to understand. That's okay, right. so then I'll I'll share that. So yeah, uh, this is uh, one half of a pair of stones. Uh, when one when an animal swallows this one. Whoever is holding the other stone can speak to the animal and understand uh, the animal in, uh, over a distance. So this one is sort of a wolfy talky situation? I suppose you could call it that, yes. Hmm. Oh, you lost me. Druck is currently like, he's disconnecting the uh, the ox from the wagon turning the wagon on its side and then using our tent that we had from earlier and just kind of setting up like a uh, mm. conical like defensive position uh and with um and trying to mask it in as much as he can okay uh and he's also trying to make sure to tie up the ox okay. as well so that it doesn't get so spooked that it runs away. Okay. Um, uh, since it is like raining and okay. potentially lightning and thunder. Right. Uh, is anybody else doing anything before this? Because we're not going to do the entire 
everyone take watch and stuff. We're just going to speed through it. So is anyone doing anything specific? I'm going to do my usual ritual cast alarm around the campsite as well. Okay. Jax would have been speaking with the mic and it just to okay. talk to them. Okay. It doesn't really respond. It just sits there. Just like try it like telepathically because she misses that. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It doesn't respond. Um, but yeah, for the sake of time and everything, you all get the benefits for long rest. Anything you want to do during your night, you could you could have done it. Okay. What about okay. Uh, maybe conversation? It's up to y'all. All right. Druck would uh, approach Dax at some point while they're eating and making a fire and everything. Uh, and not not necessarily away from other people, but kind of uh, acknowledging that other people are likely having conversations too. He is keeping it a little hushed. Um, but he'll say to Dax, How, uh, a couple of days ago, killed that half ring. How do you feel about it? It was an accident. First time, or... what? For squishing a halfling under a box of tools? Yes. Killing a... No. Humanoid. No. You look, uh... What's wrong, Druk? Just curious. I, uh... Appreciate everything you did for me. Wanted to... Perhaps... Uh... Understand... What, uh... Pulls you into action. Injustice? I could not let you just be slaughtered. I couldn't let coin be slaughtered. I'd never let Ven be slaughtered. Or no. Kenna. Even Margo. He looks you in the eyes and then looks away. Better than me. I would not be so quick to say that, Druk. Given our positions be traded, I have not done what you have done. I am not someone that saves. I have not been that person. I thought you were one to guide people, though. Isn't yes. that protecting? Well, if they get themselves into a tough position, I don't endanger myself. Some people you can't save from stupidity. Though, I will acknowledge I'm gaining a little perspective on that. Well, as Thranazart has said, perception is reality, so keep on looking and keep on learning, Druk. Thanks. And he'll just hold out a paw again. They'll hand out, put out a handshake. You've made me so talkative. This is so strange. Mm. 
and you just see her kind of like shake her head not in like a rude way but just kind of like this is weird because she's not used to this all right so morning comes you all get benefits of a long rest it's a new month now it is the current date is now Malden, the first of Blue Den. And it is currently six in the morning. Woo! So, someone roll me a D6 to determine the weather for the day, please. I'll do it. Yeah, I made rain last time. Please nope. be more rain. <laughs> six. Six. You wake up and it the fog is thick like pea soup. Makes sense. So Makes complete foggy. sense. <laughs> uh, which means the sun can't pierce through the fog, meaning your Mike and friend is safe for another day. No. Oh. But you get the cart all set up and make your way. And I'm not going to do another day of random encounters. So after about, I mean, the ox got pretty good con. So after about eight hours or so, you sort of see something in the distance on the road. So it's 2 p.m. currently. Uh, and in the distance... Is... Oh, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I was just going to ask um, for uh, immersive reasons. How far can we see in this fog? Uh, like 20 feet. Okay, cool. So awesome. it's probably best for everyone to stay on the cart. Yeah. Just for safety. Yeah, but I mean... Drex is a little tentative <laughs> based on the last encounter. So not in the distance, but 20 feet in the distance. Eventually, you all see... Um, one second here. Kind of built into the forest, you see these large... Oh, shit. Lost my notes. 15-foot-high uh, stone walls of jagged rock that look vaguely similar to like ruins um, and the road goes through these ruins and the gates are currently open uh, and there's a sign nearby on the road that says Giant's Cradle and you have to pass through it but as the cart pulls up into the city you can see guards standing on these ramparts and the guards look like they're mostly of orc and half orc uh, makeup uh, and patrolling, blah blah blah, uh, and you can see there are cauldrons actually suspended on the up on the ramparts as well, uh, which for those of you all would pro pretty much know like what is usually put into these cauldrons is pitch, just for defensive purposes. Um, and beyond the gate, you see an open, sprawling town that, unlike others you've seen, isn't split into regions. Uh, everything looks like everyone is of equal importance in this city. There's no like caste systems and stuff like that. There's no nobles. It's all just everyone is equal in their importance. Um, and this settlement is nestled in between dense forests in all directions. And the buildings are built using these trees. And then these stone, uh, the stone wall around the settlement is definitely out of place. Um, but those of you who have passed through the settlement of Belgrove, which would be almost everybody on the way to an undeal city, yeah, actually. Uh, you would recognize these are actually part of the ruins of the settlement of Belgrove. Um, wow. Cool. Yeah. Um, and the gates are operated through a pulley system. And the gates are currently open. And you were told these gates close every night because of the wolf problem. And you can just see orcs just milling about. Um, and numerous buildings and everything in between. Uh, in the distance, you can see a temple. Uh, and you can see a long, sort of long house. It looks like it's a type of guild or guild hall of some sort. And the settlement's got a population of about 5,000, so it's a relatively larger settlement uh, than Canlaith. And there's a row, and then in the middle of the city, there's kind of like a signpost uh, that shows directions to different cities, settlements. So to the south, you have Bastille. And if you look at the map on Roll20, you can get an idea of where you are currently. Uh, to the east is Belgrove, to the west is Red Book. Red Brook. And there's also a job board, snap, right beside this, uh, or no, sorry, no job board. Oh, Ben, you mentioned earlier, perhaps documenting with the local authorities about, uh, our bounty, so to speak. 
I think you're muted. Uh, yes, you're correct. Um, though I think in the last town we were in, they sent uh, letters and notice ahead. So it's yeah. most likely that they are already aware. They had said, yes, at the Lavender Hall, they would uh, send a message forward so that we would have less uh, uh, questions asked about our specific extra guest that we have. Good. But I, I think that checking in with the local authorities might not be the worst idea that we had, but... Um, as you're having this conversation, the ground tremors a little bit, and walking over, you see a 10-foot, or no, sorry, 8-foot tall individual, large pot belly. It's an ogre. Uh, and they're wearing decorative armor, big ball strapped to their back, and they go, ah, you must be the individuals coming from Kenleith, correct? Uh, that would be us, yes. The only reason I assume is he gestures to the tied up person in the back. Mm, yes. Uh, is there anything we can help you with here? Anything you require? Any um, sort of... do you... Anything. Uh, do you have a general store in town? We've uh, we do. Uh, we have a found ourselves. We have a general store. We have a temple to Fungalile, the god of nature. Uh, and uh, uh, if you're so interested, we have a hunter's guild here. So if you're looking for if you're looking for extra coin, they actually have a contract currently to deal with our wolf problem. I'm sure you may have heard about. We encountered some of it on the way over. That is to be expected. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Ma Doc. Nice to meet you. I'm uh, I'm. Ven Kihalis looks at everybody else. My name is Coin Harting. Nice to meet you. Rock. Nice to meet you. Dax. Kenna. Nice to meet you all. I am the leader of this settlement. Uh, so, anything you require, just ask. Any gestures to a building? kind of behind this long hut that he pointed out. That's the hunting guild. Uh, that's my abode. So if you ever need anything, just uh, come knocking. Do you have a prison where we can store? We do. So I can take your captive there as well, if you so desire. That would free us up to... Uh... Relax in town for We a also while. have a stable for your ox as well. That would be appreciated. Wonderful. He reaches into the back of the cart, grabs Morgo. <laughs> I will take him to the prison den. Peruse at your leisure. And he. <laughs> Are we sure we want to give, you know, our, our prisoner to anyone else to watch? Or should we, he's our charge and he's our, we were given this mission and if anyone else is watching him, then we're not doing what we said we would do, you know? Well, sometimes it takes more. So I will walk with you to the jail to see him locked up. I still see him in the distance. We can walk with him and uh, see him locked up. Maybe ask for a key that we can take him at our leisure. You know, at the at the very least, maybe some sort of, um, you know, a receipt like you would get if you were to give someone your coat. You know, maybe some sort of, maybe a button from his jacket so that we know when we get him back it will you know, match the same button. We don't want this different sort of, uh, we don't want to get the wrong, you know, prisoner back because then that's, that would be. That's smart. Uh, but I think I would leave the talking to you. Oh, <laughs> that's a good thing. You know, I'm very good at talking. I've been told I talk too much sometimes though and I don't want to make people angry. Okay, let us go. Right. So, 
Who's all heading to the prison? Uh, right now, I think it's just me, it just Druck, Druck and Coin. Okay. Right now. What's everybody else? Yeah. We'll meet you at the tavern or one of them. I don't know how many there are. Later. It'd be hard to find each other. Uh, I'm going to head to the general store. Okay, we're going to knock that out first. Um, so, Dax, where are you going? Anywhere you, do you want to go specifically? Um, Dax would be going to the temple. Okay. Uh, alrighty. And Kenna will, I guess, just go, go come with Ven. So, okay. you find the general store. It's a pretty modest little building. Um, you step inside and it's a general store, what you'd expect. Uh, and behind the counter you see this half work with very ostentatiously pierced tusks and long flowing black hair that's tied into like a top knot. And he's like, hello. Uh, hello. How may I assist you today, man? Uh, I was wondering uh, how many tents you had available. Tents. Tents. Need tents? Mm hmm. Do you like tents? Uh, they're certainly better than sleeping on the ground. I got four two person tents. Perfect. I'll take all of them. How much are they? Uh, that's eight gold total. Eight gold total? Oh, perfect. Two gold each. Here you are. Each one weighs twenty pounds. Well, that's we have a we have a wagon for that. Uh, the wagon's up front. I'll say. Uh, do you need help putting these in the wagon? Uh, that would be appreciated. Yes. Uh, anything else? Just the tents. Um, do you have any uh, road rations? Oh, I got a couple. Uh, man, uh, you see, I uh, yeah, I got some. How many do you want? Um, how much are they? Uh, five silver per one day's worth of rations. Okay. All right. Um, I will take 12 of them, please. All right. Is six gold, yes? Uh, yep. Sounds All about right. right. There you are. Anything else? Uh, no, that should be it for me. All right, well, let me help you take these bed rolls to your cart. Or tents, rather. Thank you. And he, he puts... Uh, the four two-person tents in the back of the wagon. So that's 20, 80 pounds of tents. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Uh, Get those all packed in and bundled up and then take the rations with me. We'll, uh, have fun. Safe travels. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I, I actually got a question. Great you, you look like the adventuring type. You look kind of muddy and dirty, no offense. Uh, oh, no, none taken. You're no, you don't happen to be here to help help us with the wolves, right? We are actually transporting a, a dangerous criminal, but ah, um, that makes sense. we would have to see... Uh -huh. um, we certainly encountered the wolves in the woods. A lot of people have been. Have you heard anything about, or is, does anyone know anything about the stones in the wolves, in, that the wolves have eaten? Uh, You'd have to ask the people at the hunting guild. Hmm. All right. Um, the I'm certainly not. Stones. Neither did I. Um. I don't think we would be opposed to helping, but I think we do have a, our mission is fairly important. But that makes sense. Uh. uh, uh yes. So. Um. Uh, uh, thank you again for the the tents and the food. Yeah, no problem. Just supplies are getting a little tight here with the wolf problem. I, I can imagine, so, yes. Uh, especially lucky, appreciated. Yeah, lucky yes. I got what he lucky I got what he wanted. Yes, uh, thank you again. And he goes back inside. Okay, and then I'll uh, go ahead and start looking to find the uh, uh, looking to find a tavern to meet the other two. Okay. While I, and as I, as I'm going, I'm going to be casting press digitation on the like road, the like okay. dust and mud on my boots and clothes, and then kind of also if they okay. are interested. Uh, so Dex, we're going to do you next. You find your way over to a slightly modestly sized temple. It's not big; it's like one floor, uh, and the symbol of Fungal Isle is over the front of the little temple. The symbol, which I have to remember what it is. Ha 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 ha. Uh, a red spotted toadstool hat with a pair of pointed red shoes stick out from under. And that's kind of stained glass window 
the front of this temple. So Dax is gonna look at it, kind of just like bow their like bow their head towards it, and like step inside. Okay, it's relatively empty. Not really any. No one's really in here currently. There's there's like a few. There's like eight pews total and a small little podium and a little altar. They go towards like middle back, just kind of sit down, and they just take out their small little drum that they have and they just close their eyes and they just very quietly are just kind of tapping on their drum and just taking a moment and just thinking about her mother and how she instilled to like respect these places and respect the other gods around okay um as you're in here you hear the door and your mic knit friend steps in. And he kind of just slowly saunters over to the altar, kneels down, and just sits there for a second. Dak doesn't disturb them. Okay. They get up, they turn around, and then they saunter back outside. Um, all right, Druk and Coin, you get you follow Modok to the prison, and you find a again single single story wooden building with some like iron bars over all the windows, and he leads you inside, and he says, "Well, it's not a big prison by any means. We don't get a lot of criminals here, but those that we do." And he leads you down some steps into the dungeons of it, <clears throat> and uh, there's like four cells. Um. And he opens the cell and pushes Morgo in. Closes I imagine it. they're mostly used as like a drunk tank. Usually. Um, <laughs> closes the cell door and says, uh, since it's your prisoner, hands. I will take the key, yes. Perfect. Thank okay. you. Hands that, the is, key. that is my job. I am the key master. I has to wrestle it. All over right. the uh, feel free to take them at your leisure. Um, Gamekeeper. Yep, this is where they'll be. Uh, I wanted to ask you, you said <laughs> that there was a sort of a wolf problem, and we have, um, if I may be so bold, we have actually, you know, done our fair share of um, wolf uh, uh, management. So you guys so said far at the gates. Um, yeah, we close our gates at night because the wolves seem organized the far more intelligent than normal wolves they seem to know when the gates open and they come storming in yes are you, has anyone else heard of the voices that are talking to the wolves uh yes outside of the city gates in the forest are some of our foragers and hunters and lumberers lumberjacks whatever the word is uh they have heard voices in the woods as well when the lumberjacks. wolves appear and when the wolves disappear Lumberjacks, lumberjills, you know, they all fall down. Yes. Not careful. Um, so we've, and they've always, yeah, so we've stopped opening the gates at night for that purpose. Okay. So is there anything else that you could tell us about these, uh, the wolves? Do you uh, need to... The only information, I, I would suggest going to the hunting guild here in town, the Long Hunt Hunting Guild. Uh, the members there would have more information than I would regarding the wolves because they, you know, they hunt things and they put up contracts for beasts that are terrorizing people and deal with it. And one of the hunters actually uh, had a run in with a pack of wolves by himself, and he might be the one to ask. Uh, did, uh, how much they pay in? I'm not sure you'd have to talk to them. Okay. Hmm. Thank you for the information. Could you also um, show us um, the strength of the bars of this prison? I want to make sure that uh, we have them. Um, he tries to he tries to stand on his toes and give sort of a. The ogre leans back and just full on with all the strength punches one of the bars, and it doesn't dent at all. 
Oh, I thank you for the demonstration. I wanted to just say our our prisoner was sort of a flight risk. He's not good enough here. I, we have oh, guards okay. as well that will be positioned, so he's not good enough. But also, we don't want him to be treated terribly cruelly. We don't, we don't treat our prisoners cruelly here. I just thank you for the, I, I, you know, that is, is a real load off our minds. You know, I mean, I mean, at least you know my mind. I think, thinking of the the prisoners, making oh, sure they are, you know, we have uh, nothing to worry about. That it, well, you you know that's, it's it's you know it's easy to say, but it is much better now that I have seen. As I you understand. said, the hunting lodge is located. Um, yes. Near, Near the long building? It is the long building. Oh, it's the whole long building. Yes, okay. The long yes. hunt hunting guild. Ooh. The members usually go on week long, month long hunts for rare beasts. Hmm. Druk's eyes just kind of light up. I think the last creature they hunted was something called a Bahir. Do any of us know, have heard of that before? Uh, you guys are level two. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I'd let Ven get. Nah, yeah, no one would have heard of it about over here. Cool. Not even with the. I mean, not even with an Arcana check. Nope. Okay. They are maybe super like a super rare. Like maybe maybe I've seen like Bahir gallstones in the potions lab, like in the that's restriction about, section. That's probably about section it, yeah. <laughs> Whatever that is, that seems important. It's in like the locked section of stuff they don't let people touch. No, uh, but here is basically a big uh, six like lizard. Uh, dragons are pretty scared of Bahirs, so. Oh. Oh, certain dragons do not fear anything. They do not. Well, that's true. Fear. That's true. But Bahirs are like the natural enemies of chromatic dragons. It's very interesting. Mm, chromatic dragons, yes, the lesser of the dragons. I understand what you mean. Well, that's not particularly true. I mean, well, I, I mean, you know, some say potatoes and I say potatoes, so, you know. But that's regardless, a... uh, your prisoner will be safe. Uh, and I believe the contract the last time it was offered to a hunting a, a party like yourselves, they didn't return, however. Uh, they're offering 50 gold pieces. I think the price might still be the same. Okay, and you mentioned that there was uh, a hunter in town who yes. tried to do it solo style and yes. got... Uh, oh, he, he's he's a member of the guild. His name's Fezzik. Fezzik. Okay. We will seek out Fezzik, and we will seek out this contract because we are a mighty party. Yes, and if you head over to do the contract, uh, I can we can keep make sure your prisoner is safe here in the city. That is perfect. Cow. Um. Uh. So. Uh. uh looks at Druk. Is there a sort of um. A fee that we need to pay to make sure that the uh, prisoner... No, this is for the crown, so no fee. Oh, <laughs> okay. Then we will uh, we will certainly... Um, we will make sure that the balance is corrected for any inconvenience. Uh, it will be documented and corrected specifically. Maybe as a favor, you could go deal with the wolves for us. Oh, you know, we will certainly... See if it is it is works, you know, in the favor of our mission. I re yes, but I recommend talking to Fezzik. He usually is at the hunting guild, which also has a tavern inside of it. So if you're looking for drinks as well, they know oh, what to do. Oh, where the tavern is. Oh uh, yes, it's the best tavern in town. The other one, not so great. Mm. Uh, He's spilling tea all over the small town. Ooh, I like it. Uh, just someone trying to brew alcohol from strange not usually fermentable fruits and it's not does not taste good so the well, hunting the hunting guild tavern is the one you want to go to uh much appreciated and he'll hold out another paw big ogre hand yeah your prisoner will be Maybe. safe yeah truck will lock it up and then, and then just look over at coin and be like, oh, "Do you drink?" Uh, I do not usually imbibe the alcohol. 
as it is it numbs the senses and makes one uh, less aware of possible wrongdoings. Usually. Can I offer a suggestion? Yes, you may. We've been importing this wine from the continent of Ipshire. They've recently begun reproducing it. Very good. Very good vintage. Or you can ask for the flame tongue. And I'll let your imagination dwell on that. Have a good day. And he <coughs> walks out of prison. May may the reflection of Bahamut's shiny scales light your path to truth. You as well. And he Oh my god, I just realized I'm doffing a cap. It's a metal metal cap that Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's on my nose. Uh Ven would also you 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 would you you'd probably ask around for like a tavern or something, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they point you to the same one at the Long Hunting at the Long Hunt Hunting Guild. This is the best tavern in town. Oh, thank you. Make my way over there. Okay. Dax is still hanging out in the temple. Alrighty. No one else. No one's really coming in. Just just you by yourself playing your drum. And then after a while, she kind of just stops and she start. She takes out some paper and a writing utensil, and she starts writing out a letter to. Her parents mm-hmm. and one to Thranazard. Okay. Cool. Uh, Quinn. Yes. Um, forgot to check in with uh, Mike. Oh, where is he? Where Where are they? They are. They are. Did we? Did we lose them? They. You know they. Actually, did we ever decide if they were to go free? Oh no, they were going to stay with us to be sort of a um, witness, a character witness. Yeah. Okay. So, where did they go? <laughs> I did. Very, very important. They can share thoughts. Yeah, they can uh, corroborate very... the evidence. Yeah. Yeah. We should um, make sure that they are okay, that they are com- comfortable, that they are taken care of. Find out what they're doing. We want to keep them safe too. Yeah, that that is true. Let us let us go find uh, let us find Mike, and see mm. if they are okay. Yeah, it's yes. not hard. Mike hid in a yeah. You can easily find them. They said we they, ask they, around. They, yeah, they go. Oh, yeah, it was in the temple. Mm. We there. go to the temple. <laughs> Not there, just just Dax. Oh, Dax. Dax just stops writing for a moment. Looks over. Looks back at her writing. And just goes back to writing. Alright, we're meeting at the tavern. It's the best one in the town. Just ask anybody. Uh, I owe you a few drinks, so... You know. Dax just kind of silently nods as she's finishing up her last part of her letter. Alright. Alright. And, uh... Oh, right, I guess he'll say, Uh... Mike and Ed went by here. Do you know where they went? They were in here. But that's none of my business what the mic it does with their practice, but they did leave. Right, see you later. Yeah, and we'll kind of yeah. just ask around to everyone else to see where <laughs> that mic might have been turned up. When it's, when Druck leaves, Dax just kind of relaxes in their seat. And they feel so awkward that they were interrupted by somebody here. Because she's like, ah, yes, there's no one here. I'll just quietly write my letter. Then, oh my god, what the hell? Mm. So she yeah. finishes the uh, letter. Okay. Uh, oh, the mic did? Yeah. Uh, it went to the temple, left. 
I think it's just kind of hanging out at the garden. Communal garden here in town. Where? Uh, near the tavern. Uh, there? You know, just point? Sure, yep. <laughs> Alright. Very cool. Yeah, and we'll just stop in. See it's what he's rooted into the ground. Yeah. Uh, Druck will look at him, same as he usually has done before he tries to speak to him. Mm hmm. To kind of initiate that, you know. Okay. Would like to speak I, to I will go and I will find Ven. Ah. Uh, yes. Good. Okay. Um. It communicates basically in your mind that it senses home nearby and would like to stay. Then you can see flashes of like underground and you get like a sense of like comfort and it shows like glowing mushrooms and tunnels and deep dark tunnels and yeah uh he'll say uh um stay kind of in a questioning thought uh stay for a little bit or stay for a while because you know we need we need you as a witness uh you get a sense that it's depressed at its existence um didn't ask to be essentially a part of this um and just wants to stay for a little bit Uh, like essentially getting the idea it doesn't want to come with you guys okay it doesn't want to but it it's doing so reluctantly or it... it's doing so because it feels like you're forcing it you all you're all, you are all forcing it to oh oh if that's the, like it feels like case... you get a sense you feel like it feels like it, you're it's your prisoner at this oh. point oh he yeah Druck's gonna squash that right away with his thoughts like if okay. he's if that's the intent that he's he's getting he's just yeah, he's going to squash that and try to convey that it was merely uh, as a very valuable witness to bring justice to this person that did him wrong. Uh, you get a sense, another thing saying, basically showing this Mike and it's strangling Morgo to death as a sense of justice that it wants to do. And getting a sense it is having a tough time resisting said urges the longer yeah. it's with you all. Yeah. Uh, all right. Just, just gonna say okay, and do as you will. Uh, uh, we we need we need the person, but so don't kill him. But you can go wherever you'd like. Is what he's kind of gonna try to convey. Okay. Kind of uproots itself and stands up. And. Just but also conveying that there are wolves and to be safe. <laughs> and it just looks at you. Because they still have eyes. It just looks at you. Yeah. And you get like a sense of like, thanks. Okay. I'll have one last thought. You drink? <laughs> Doesn't know what that means. Ah, oh, man. All right. And it just goes back to rooting itself in the garden. Okay. And it, and then, um, you get a sense you'd like, it would like to say goodbye before you leave, like the town. Okay. Uh. Yeah, he'll just say we'll be back. Okay. Cool. And also, like, it's it all seems like it's. It thinks the traveling in the daytime is too risky and it doesn't want to get killed by sunlight. <laughs> yeah, he's actually, he has it on him. He's just going to leave, like, the bat skins and bat wings that he had collected uh, and just kind of leave him, leave them to him. He, They hadn't gotten very far in creating it, but uh, he's just going to give that to him as, like, a, a makeshift cloak or cover okay. should uh, the sun break through the fog at any moment. Okay. 
uh, it grabs a stick on the ground and just writes. Yeah. I can't write because it's in the language. Never mind. <laughs> um, but it just sits there gathering nutrients from the soil. Okay. And I believe it is. Okay. You can make your way to the tavern. I assume everyone but Dax is going to be there. Um, in the in the spirit of fair play that Dax is, you know, still is running through them, Dax, first, once they're done at the temple and they leave and they pay specs, they're going to go to the divers drive-ins and dives bar first. Okay. Because uh... they're just hearing about, oh, you know, it's the better of the two. They, they're like, why can't we give them a fair chance? Basically? Okay. You go to the worst one, and there are no <laughs> there are no patrons. Uh, the tables are covered in a thin layer of dust and dirt, and you see a little rat scurry by, just or me 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 me, and the proprietor looks like they are passed out behind the counter, drunk off their ass, <laughs> drunk on their own supply. Like they're behind the counter on the ground? No, they're like sitting on a stool just passed out at the counter. D Dax is going to make sure their head's kind of tilted to the side so they don't throw up and choke. They're closed. Making sure you're still alive. Closed. All right. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> Just gentle pat on the back. There. It's still good there. to drink. Um, would you like some water? They got all I need right here. Do you want me to bring you a pillow or a blanket? No, thank you. Closed. All right. Have a good night, my friend. I think it's the afternoon. <laughs> Dax. The time is. What day is it? And then, snoring, passes out. Dax just wipes off the dust from just being in here. It's and... It, and it, there's kind of like a weird smell to it. Like most taverns, kind of have like that stale bar smell. That kind of like you just never clean up. This is like familiar tavern smell. This just smells like manure and dirt. Dax just kind of looks around and is just like. And then leaves and slowly makes her way to the tavern. Okay. As everybody reaches the Long Hunt Hunting Guild, we're going to take a break. Boom. Back here in five, ten minutes. All right.
Hello everyone, back. So, you all have made your way to the Long Hunt Hunting Guild. Big long house. And it is packed to the brim with hunters from all over the continent. Just sitting there, drinking alcohol. There's one table. One table. That has no patrons. That's just one long it. table? One long table with no patrons at it. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's one long table, but there's like one section at the very end where there's no one sitting. Uh, who gets there first? Uh, you probably Drux would have. heading, yeah, Drex heading straight to the bar. Okay. Uh, Ven will, Ven will grab, grab spots for everybody at the table. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, so then, yeah, seeing that that's it, uh, Coin is going to try and run after and then lay his whole body across as Dick claim dibs for everyone. Nice. Oh, you know oh hello, you Coin. To do that. Oh, I was I was just stretching out. Oh, fair. Oh. Good thing to I, do before a hunt. Mm hmm Yes. Of um, course. And on the northern wall of this building is a fireplace that's currently crackling. And there's just mounted heads all over this place of, like, elk. Human? Yes, no. Elks, <laughs> elks, elk, and bears, and wolves, and other creatures you're not really familiar with just mounted around. And bunch of people just sat here drinking alcohol and just talking amongst themselves of like stories about their hunts oh Ven uh, we got some intelligence that there was a, a hunter in here who already tried to take that uh, wolf bounties that we had heard of before but he oh. had got, uh, ambushed and, and maybe it just he had survived with his life and stories, so I thought maybe we could gain some more intelligence if we find that specific hunter. And since this oh. is a big, long, shared table, the people sat beside you that you don't know just turn and go, Oh, you're looking for Fezzik. Yes, that is his name, Fezzik. Uh, Fezzik! Got some people looking for you. Oh, are we, were we, going to, were we going to do that job? Oh, we wanted, I mean... Uh, I mean, it's always good to at least hear the stories of it. I didn't. I. I did not. Nothing has been. I was. I was. I did. I was interested in it. I didn't know if you all would want to because I know we're in a hurry. But it, I would. I would like to help these people. Oh, I should let you know. The, the. Oh, that is a bit of a, what they call the, the what is it? The catch twenty two, where we want to get back to the city. Oh boy. That is heavy. Because I well, was... are the, are the, um, are the, are, are they? You you took the man to the jail. Will they take? Will they? Oh, they will. Him? They will board him up. They said that they would. Uh, that because it was the crown that we were very locked up. You see, no. Do, do you see? I I have the key to his cell, so he is okay. not comings or goings without us. While you're talking, someone sits down at your table. <laughs> you see a. Um, half work, very muscular, but also lithe, with an eye patch over his left eye, wearing thick leathers with a wolf hide cloak of brown and orange fur. 
he is missing his bottom right tusk and his face is heavily scarred. He's like, mm. I hear you're looking for me. His name's Fezzik. I am Coin Hardink. How do you do? I do all right. Uh, one round of uh, flame tongues for all these fine new fellows. That is what Druck was doing. <laughs> then you will come in with another. Everyone's yeah. going to have many rounds of folks. <laughs> uh, they bring you each these big, long horn drinking horns filled with an orange red liquid. Is it just fireball? No. What you, would you so, meant to say was yes, Justin. <laughs> no, fireball's fucking I'm gross. I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> it's like drinking Red Hots. Yeah, it's, it's awful. Uh, so, uh, why well, are you looking for me, then? Oh, well, this is, uh, this is Ven. Nice to meet you. Uh, hello, nice to meet you as well. This is uh, Dax. Nice to meet you. Um, this is Kenna as well. Hello. Oh, nice to meet you. And also, uh, Druck should be around here. We uh, would like to hear your story. We've heard that you uh, faced some wolves. We also, we did some, we, we um, properly uh, thwarted some wolves who were trying to stop our travel. That's pretty common around these parts. Uh, I want to hear my story. What story? In I've particular. Heard... I've heard that you tried to take the wolf bounty and it gave Oh, I didn't a... take the wolf bounty. I'm the one who set the wolf bounty. Oh. Well, that certainly changes the angle of my questioning. Anyone else? <laughs> um, what do you know about the wolf threat? Uh, do you know any locations, yeah. places where they their dens are centered about, around? Their den's about two miles northeast of here. All right. In the forest. Uh, and they seem to be organized by a bigger wolf. He, he kind of gestures to the cloak he's, the cloak he's wearing. Uh, killed its mate. Oh. And the wolf looked like this color, brown and orange, kind of like fire. Uh, that's the interesting part. Leans in. Have you ever seen a wolf that can breathe flame? I can't say I have, no. This one can. Not only that, it can communicate with the other wolves. It was speaking in common. Hmm. Interesting. I got curious. Went there myself, and gestures to his scarred face and his missing eye. Didn't go so well. But these wolves seem to be... Organized, like I said, listening to this other wolf, this bigger wolf. The fire breathing wolf, I like to call it. Was the fire wolf? Fire wolf? Mm -hmm. um, it's very intelligent and very organized. Uh, and the contract's 50 gold to those who bring me its head. But little people on here on, on edge is the last people who wanted to do it, didn't come back. What if we... Do, do we have to bring back the wolf head in order to receive payment? Yes. Or what? Okay. I need to, we need to know what's dead. But also, it might help to know, you know, how, why are these wolves, like, how are they organizing? That's the interesting part. Druck, you seem to be gesturing a lot. What do you... He's not even there. Druck's still at the bar. <laughs> you said you all... One of you has a has yeah. a rune. <laughs> yeah. One of you has a stone. He also may be sitting on that information and not sharing it in a long, a long table bar. <laughs> also, we don't necessarily know... Would like that. Ne that's not necessarily... Yeah. I don't want to like exactly. get cut off before we... <laughs> hand, yeah. Real answers. Right? But, uh... 
Yeah, big wolf. Bigger than most. Uh, it's about eight feet tall at the shoulders. At least this mate, its mate was. I assume the other one is as well. I, I'm sorry. I hold on just one moment. Takes off his helmet. There may be there was something in my ear. Uh, Eight you said tall at the shoulders. At the shoulders, at the, like it's. Yeah. I'm surprised that's the part of the throat, even not the breathing flame. No, but I mean we're we're in a world for you know. Sometimes, you know, you become blessed with, you know, the breath of Bahamut. It is the will to balance the world that some people will, you know, become, you know, flame gifted. But, you know, for something that has grown, oof, I mean, something that necessarily wouldn't be, you know, three times my height is, you know, very scary. It's a shoulder, even. Yes, it's rather large. It is like many horses stacked on top of each other. Mm, no. That'd be just that's, a little shorter than a horse. Yeah, it's, you know, that's, well, that's fair. No, if it's at the shoulder, no, at the shoulder, it's several. At its shoulder, it's, when it's raised, it's, you know what? Well, I, no, the hor a, a, a horse's shoulder is probably about here on me, if I, th I think. It's a little bit larger than a horse. It's about the same size as a horse. Well, but eight feet at the shoulder would be up here. It'd be taller than me standing, so that'd be maybe about a horse and a half. It's quite large, regardless. It, is, it sounds humongous. It sounds like it is not. But like I said, the wolves of the area have kind of rallied around it and are listening to it. Ooh. Like they've picked it as its alpha, so to speak. Hmm. As wolves do. But... Actually... <laughs> No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so if we wanted to pursue this uh, contract with you, we would say, hey, we got this one, and then we would bring you back its head, and that is... That's it, yep. That is all we would have to say. And if we did not do this thing... And we just said, oh, this wolf is too much for us. We are, oh, we're done with it. Goodbye. That would be okay, too. I mean, that's your choice. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for the information. Yeah. Like I said, uh, this den's about two miles northeast of here. So, that's the information I got. Can breathe fire. It's big. Two miles away. All right. And uh, fifty gold total for the for the yep. bounty. Yep, fifty gold. All right. Uh, thank you very much for that information. And I'm seeing there's five of you, so that's ten each. Easy split. That is well. There's actually four of us here, but uh... no, everyone's here except Drex at the counter, right? Um, oh, I thought da I thought Dax was still no. The Dax is here. Oh, okay, okay. She quietly made their way in. Got it. Well, anything else? I no, can't think of anything. That's all for us. Thank you. Well, enjoy your drinks. Stands up and saunters off back to his end of the table. Well, that was uh, enlightening. Yes, uh, very much so. He was very forward with his information. Indeed. I'm also interested because the idea, this, it would make sense, if we hadn't learned about the, the runic, or lowered voices, if we hadn't learned about the runic stones, the, 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 the fire-breathing alpha wolf would make sense, but... These seem to indicate some amount of magical prowess and intellect, uh, which if a wolf is capable of that, it's certainly possible, I suppose. Anything is possible, but I seem to think that there might be something else going on here. Mm. 
What's Druck doing? I mean, Hughes at the bar just getting drinks. Okay. Uh, but I guess uh, seeing them like take an order of drinks to there already, uh, he would just uh, he would ask the bartender, oh, "What's going on?" Fezzik bought your group drinks. Oh, well, if they have any more after that, uh, don't let them pay. Charge me. All right. Um, also, do you have any good foods, meats? We have all sorts of meats. Both. We're a hunting lodge. We have wild boar. Also, uh, with meat. Get a party platter or something. Uh, that'd be five gold. It's a lot of it food. Is, it is a special occasion. Five gold, then. Five gold. All right. And I guess uh, the amount of time that went by, all of that stuff, Druck never showed up because he was waiting for that platter, and he brings it up to the group. <laughs> so they pull the, they bring the platter out, and three people have to carry it. Yeah. Just because of its length. I got us some food. No one goes hungry. Uh, the center of the platter is a huge suckling pig. Uh, wild boar. All around it are just sausages, bacon, um, mushrooms, um, beans, like baked beans. Like It's a full English, essentially. Um, there's like f fried fish and like fried potatoes and chicken and any also, magnificent looking corn? Nope. Just a bunch of meat. This looks uh, fantastic. Thank you, Druck. Least I could do. And there are five drinking horns filled with an amber, red, orange liquid. <clears throat> What's, uh... What do I saw them bring these. What are they? Uh, Alcohol, it seems. <clears throat> Uh, Fezzik is a, is a big guy. He said they were called the 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 fire, the the uh, tongue fire. Flame tongue. They were called the flame tongue. Flame tongue. Wait. Flame tongue. You uh, already spoke with them. Yes. Uh, essentially, there's a big uh, wolf, a humong uh, a humongous wolf that is to that is nearly is it's taller than you at the shoulder. And it also breathes the flame and may also be controlling the other wolves. Hmm. Did you ask him how he escaped? Oh, no. Apparently, he just had the bounty and he didn't really... He killed its mate. So I think that he's probably, you know, efficient enough with his killing, but perhaps is more does not want to go in with a target on his back, a very big, large, you know, mate-shaped target on his back. He was wearing the pelt. Yes, that is that. Yeah, exactly what I was alluding to. Thank mm. you. Putting it more succinctly. How much? Oh, he said he was going to give us 50 gold. Only 50 gold? 50 gold's a lot for this level. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's 10 gold for each of us. It's still so. a decent amount at this level. Yeah. All right. I just spent half of that on food. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, that isn't a challenge. I was just, yeah. I, I'm... I understand. It's now two gold for drug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Physic, he was uh, complaining. <laughs> uh, oh, um. All right, well, eat up. Have uh, fill your bellies. Oh yeah, Dude. then just mm. and Druck is going to kind of give the drink a sniff. Burns your nostril hairs. <laughs> like actually, burns yeah. them. Like He'll they, just take. They kind of singe a little. Yeah, I'll just take a sip then first. 
All right. Uh, I'm not going to chug that. Give me a con save. A sip. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Just sipping something? Yeah. Nat one. Nat one. Your entire tongue and mouth go numb. So currently, you cannot speak coherent sentences. It's all just... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> He's just gonna put the glass down, and then, and then just try not to smile and look at other people if they try to drink. Ven is uh, Ven is gonna just leave leave his drink on the platter. He's uh, he, he's he's not he's not looking to get messed up tonight. Okay. Dax is picking at a couple pieces of bacon. She's like enjoying the flavors, just like, oh, elk bacon. Interesting, interesting. She takes a couple bites. She has her goblet in her hand and just kind of swirls it around. And she takes a sip. Con save. Come on, da- a- 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 X. 19. 18. Your mouth doesn't go 19. numb. 19. Ooh. And you can sort of taste what's actually in this. There's a spice to it, almost like hot peppers. Mm. And something else you can't quite pinpoint. <clears throat> This really... And you, and you get a sense that it gets people drunk super quickly and easily. This really complements the spread, Druck. Appreciate it. Coin coin has a uh, 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 chicken quarter, like the the thigh and drumstick of one piece of chicken, just like slamming that down, and then also runs up and like grabs some pork cheek, and also has like a little plate of like sides and is fully going potluck style, just piling as much on his plate as he goes down and like looks and try just to try everything. Mm-hmm. This is more. This is like. This is like if this is like first time Texas barbecue where you're just like, it's <laughs> every all right, okay, sure, sure, I don't, I don't, sure, why not? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and he just starts just just slamming it, just like, like ooh, too much, but like, mm. like, uh, oh, I guess I guess there'd be, I understand. Or, or, or coin would understand the gesture of so much food but perhaps does like there's more the, the food weighs like almost as much as he does basically yeah so there's a there's a gesture in like oh oh no, none of this can go to waste <laughs> like going like that and unintentionally just like super thirsty because everything's salty just unintentionally grabs a sip and just like oh no like grabs a sip like not even like unintentionally as it hits his lip like no uh, can't save. oh just like an accident like a total oh no uh, ooh. oh I don't think that's gonna do it uh, okay 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 how does the 15 taste 15 uh you feel the numbing effects slightly, uh, but you can still you taste the same thing: hot peppers and something else you can't quite place. <laughs> Flame tongue. <laughs> he puts it down and then. And there's cheers throughout the tavern. Is yeah, flame tongue. Flame tongue. <laughs> I'll get us around to something a bit more. You're still your your mouth is still a little numb. <laughs> and then he's Drop. gonna go. You see him walk back to the bar. 
I did not know his people were so susceptible to alcohol. Oh, oh no, it just has numbing effects to people. It just has numbing effects is all. Oh. Coin? Do you feel numb? You know, some people, they, you know, they have, uh, they're not, they're more susceptible to the to the drink, you know, but I am naturally, I'm very, uh, you know, very hearty, as they say. Uh, uh, hey, Dax, did you ever heard of a wolf that could, um, that could talk to other wolves? Have you ever heard of that? Only in fairy tales, my mother used to tell me at night, but other than that, not until today. Hmm. Have you ever heard of anything like that, uh, Van? Um, uh, would I have heard... Would Ven have heard of a winter wolf before? Oh, man. Give me a history or a nature check. Um, I'll just do history. Just because of where you came from. Just because of the school stuff. Uh, yeah, that's what I figured. I've researched and read and spent time in a library. Uh, that is a 15. Uh, you've heard of a winter wolf. I've... Um, yeah. Big white wolves capable of speaking common. Uh, and had could breathe... Like, had cold, freezing breath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the opposite of this, but... yeah. Um, I've heard of sort of the opposite of this. There are wolves, uh, uh, magical uh, monstrosities similar to wolves. They're called winter wolves. Um, very uh, similar to what this what what this Fezic man described. Uh, very large, uh, but but they but they're the opposite. They they live in cold climates and they their breath is like ice, not not fire. So, mm -hmm. but such a thing is not too far off from what he described. So. If uh, if a frost breathing wolf can exist, I it makes stands to reason that a fire breathing one could. Mm. Mm. So what do you think? Do you think we should go and take the time to go and? <clears throat> hunt this uh wolf or do you do you think this is worth our time to to go off the path that we have taken i mean we know we have essentially solved our murder case but we haven't we haven't brought anyone to justice and i don't know if we should if we should go and go off of our path but we 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 are certainly safe to do so as the prisoner that we had is under lock and key he shows them the key that he has now and no matter if we go and deal with this firewolf or head now the dead are still dead so We're not in any technical rush. I don't suggest we peruse at our own leisure here, but I don't suggest we just make a beeline for an undeal. Uh, yeah, I was speaking to the um, uh, the proprietor of the general store, which, uh, by the way, I bought us uh, bought us some tents and rations. So that sleeping in the woods won't be as uh, uh, damp. Um, but uh, uh, he was telling me that it would be it was difficult for them to get supplies into town, and that they they were running out of uh, most things in the general store, which was a. Uh, it seems like this town is in a bit of trouble in that regard, and. Uh, food and other supplies are difficult to come by with this wolf threat around, so 
it wouldn't just be money, we would be greatly aiding all of the people in this fairly fair-sized town uh, with a serious amount of trouble. It does seem to be out of balance that the uh, wolves that are trying to throw everything out of the natural order of this area. That is a, that's a very good point. Hmm. You guys see Druk come back up with uh, <clears throat> two uh, hands full of uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, mugs. Yeah, they should be more palatable. He's gonna pass them out to everyone. Oh, uh, what what is this? Uh, what is it, Justin? Uh, just a red ale. Oh, uh, that's a bit more my speed. It would be impolite to not finish our guests' offering and. Just to say, da- sorry, go ahead. And then Dax is gonna finish tastes, her drink. It tastes much better. Um, <laughs> those of you who is anyone here, Ven? Are you prefer? Actually, anyone who? No, never mind. Is anyone? Yeah, never mind. Is anyone here proficient in alchemist supplies or brewer? Actually, no, brewer supplies. Nope. Oh man, that would be cool. No. Okay. <clears throat> I have an herbalism kit. Oh, that won't do anything. <laughs> that I'm proficient in. That won't do anything. Not for this. I was just gonna see if anyone could figure out what the secret ingredient is to this alcohol. <laughs> could I make a a nope. nature survival check to try nope. to like taste it? No. Actually, you're gonna try to taste the alcohol. Yeah. Constitution saving throw first. Oh, Justin, I just got here and you're already making me make a con yeah. save. Come on. I know. Oh. All right. That's not great. Um, That's a 10. 10. Your mouth and taste buds go numb so you can't even taste the drink. And then if, if the... If... If... If the... If the, if the yeah. Yeah. I I I feel I've good. Feel my tongue. Yeah, yeah. And Druk's gonna just slide over the uh, the mug that he bought, the more mild uh, beer, <laughs> red ale, and he's just gonna slide that over to you. I'm gonna attempt to drink it. I don't know how well my mouth will function. You can, you can drink it. You just can't taste it. <laughs> yeah. It just feels like I have a full and tongue and it'll be a really good time with infection. Good time. <laughs> I'm really committed to this bit. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and yeah, Ven, you also would have learned, you also would know that the uh, cold breath of a winter wolf is pretty dangerous. So, I mean, a wolf that can breathe fire, the fire breath is also probably pretty dangerous. Pretty potent, yeah. And we should we should be... If we do decide to go after this wolf, um, well, first we should... I, did, did, was everybody at the table when we were speaking about what uh, Fezzik told us? Yes. Okay. Uh, if we do decide to go after this wolf, then we should be prepared. It's the the fire breath it has is most likely very deadly. It itself is most likely very deadly. I would uh, I would say it's probably worth it to uh, plan some sort of trap or ambush rather than uh, just charge in and attempt to fight it one uh, five against one. Mm. How big? Eight feet at the shoulder. <laughs> Drug was actually not present during a whole yeah. chunk of that. So he's just like, what? You said 50 gold? <laughs> uh, yes. But more importantly, we'd be helping restabilize this entire town and region and allow them to gain supplies again and food and the things they need to live. Perhaps drinks will be on house. 
Is the giant's cradle in the Crownlands or the Geraldin Wilderness? Geraldin Wilderness is the forested region of the Crownlands. Okay. So it's all part of the Crownlands. Well, this is still the Crownlands, so the Nundial City would probably not look down if we were to help and stay a little longer. Plus, uh, we all need the gold. Would come in handy. I did. Uh, I did um, spend a fair amount of my coin on. Uh, I bought us. A, I mentioned a few. I bought us tents and uh, rations for a few days at the general store, so we can stop sleeping outside. You, <laughs> you, smart. Yep, four two-person tents. Mm -hmm. Now for all of us, the Mykonid. Oh, sorry. Mayor Mathnan, bless you, then. Uh, uh, thank you. Oh, I should tell you. Uh, the Mykonid will not be joining us anymore. They told me they <clears throat> did not wish to travel with us. They do not wish to be witness hmm. I think we should have all the all the uh, evidence we need but will they be all right on their own they do not seem to be worried all right but seemed grateful enough to wish us goodbye whenever we leave town or get back on the trail to Anandir City. Alright. So, um, what, what is, what are our, what is everyone's thoughts on the wolf situation? Uh, yes, no. Yes, need gold. <laughs> I'm. Then you were staying? I was just going to say, I'm, I'm for it. Yeah, I, 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 I think if we are going to help uh, this entire town not be as um, oppressed by the wolves, then that would be a step towards balance of natural sorts hey yes. I'm more for the balance of nature and getting gold so for me it's a weird thing kind of situation <laughs> right whatever whatever they said uh, Dax how were you feeling about the, the wolf situation well, I used to go hunting with my father years ago, so it'll almost be like I'm back home, and it helps the people, so I am in. Right. What? You mentioned... You... Hmm. You first. I was just going to say we should, we should probably rest up then tonight, and if we're going to be going on a hunt tomorrow. Hmm. You mentioned... Trap, bait, ambush. Uh, yes. I don't mean to butt into your conversation, but uh, we sell all that kind of stuff here. We are a hunting guild, after all. Again, a very communal table. Everyone's kind of sat side by side. <laughs> this is like a hipster restaurant. This is amazing. It's very much a hipster restaurant. <laughs> right on top of us. Uh, <clears throat> so you said there are all sorts of uh, traps that you... Uh, sell uh what uh what kind of traps do you sell and how much do you sell them for uh sell snares bear traps mm -hmm. cages uh shovels to dig your own pitfalls uh that kind of stuff we have bait too if you're not good at making your own mm -hmm. 
You said there's a sort of wolf bait. There's specific wolf bait. Not really specific wolf bait. Wolf like meat. But also wolf, wolf wolves are kind of. They generally send the weaker wolves out first to kind of check for things to make sure things are safe. So luring wolves out is very difficult. Hmm. I mean, I could always try talking to them again. Ooh. That might not work. What, what did you have in mind, Ken? You said, uh, Ven. <laughs> Ven. Sorry, I had one sip of flame tongue. <laughs> Woo, my dog. <laughs> uh, so, Ven, you said there was a sort of trap idea that you had. What, what sort of trap were you were you thinking? They had, you know, pitfalls, and they had, you know, bear traps that go snippy snap on the ankles of the wolves that would hurt, hurt them, or the snares that could pull them up, and they would be hanging, you know, from from a tree. But what were you what were you thinking? Well, uh, those are all. Um, I have my knowledge of hunt, hunting and battles and all of that is uh, purely academic. Um, but uh, just in some of the things I've read, it seems that uh, generally you want to, uh, in cases such as these, um, when it's not, uh, when it wouldn't be considered a dishonorable act, uh, avoid a fair fight uh, in favor of a advantage to one side, a terrain, uh, a surprise, um, uh, numbers, things things of this nature. Uh, I would imagine that um, if we just were to wander into the wolf's den, and declare ourselves and challenge it to a fight, it would go very poorly for us. So uh, perhaps something like drawing it out, or uh, I actually did have one idea. Uh. Um, the the stone, the stone that I that I got from the wolf, and I'll take it out and lay it on the table, uh, and I'll lower my voice a bit. Uh, this stone allows any animal that has, con that has swallowed it to commune with whoever is leading these wolves, if it's the larger wolf or another one. And I was thinking we could perhaps use that to our advantage. And then we'll look at Kenna. As will Dax. Well, what we have here are two options. We could, one, have me try to talk to the wolf pack, um, seeing as I can turn into one of them, or I can also, like, cast myself and speak to them. Um, or we could go after the head of the pack um, and try to speak directly to him. Or option three, we could try to snare one of them and learn the secrets from a, from a, you know, a smith, so to speak. I think I understood that. Um, my my thinking was the second, third, one of those options, the the one that involves you turning into a wolf and speaking directly to the leader. If we could, presumably, if he's getting messages through these stones uh assuming that we can speak back to him uh, if he's getting messages through these stones he would assume they're only from the pack that he has given them to which would perhaps gain a measure of trust and maybe we could uh send him some false intelligence and lure him to somewhere away from the pack where we'd be able to fight him alone justin how long does my tongue mouth numbness last like three minutes <laughs> okay you know, I could go under the guise of one of the pack and, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, like, I guess I could pretend. I'm not a very good liar. Um, it's not really in my nature. I'm just really good at animals. I mean, I might be able to convince them. You guys all understood what I was saying, right, though? More, more or less, yes. All right, cool, cool. I mean, yeah, I'm up for it. Uh, another idea. If we happen to get to its den, could always light a fire at the entrance and smoke it out. If it breathes fire, though, might it be, res might it be resistant in some capacity to fire? 
difference um, between breathing fire and inhaling fire. Got well, a point there. Hmm. We also then run the risk of starting a forest fire, though, which might cause greater problems. Well, can't you control flames, Ben? A small amount, but if it begins to spread faster than I can control it, I don't want to make any promises that might result in widespread destruction and death. The smoke is the important part. Don't need big yeah. flames to make big smoke. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, if we get a bunch of debris and dried leaves and twigs, we could get a pretty good uh, smokestack going. Also, what if we made the the smoke smell worse than it already does? Like we put like I don't know, like hair or something in it. So it smells terrible. So it's like <coughs> this is not like the fire that comes out of my mouth. This is like a horrible hair smoke. The the other the other uh, concern I have with this is that in order to get if we build the fire large enough, or build the whatever the smoke production large enough to reach the den from quite a distance, then oh, no, it would be no. very, be very large. If we got close, well, is the we done. we don't know if the den is enclosed or if it's just out in the woods somewhere, but it's a thicket, perhaps. Mm. No, different then. Yes, of course. We don't know no, if it's only, a cave. Then that's a different. Then it's different. Fire if it's caved. Yes, that would be, that would that would be a good idea. For the, for the moment, we don't even know where its den is. But you know, it's about two miles to the north. Northeast. Northeast. Uh, and with your history check earlier, winter wolves are immune to cold damage, so you can assume this one is immune to fire. I see. Uh, the the winter variety of wolf that I mentioned is does have an immunity to cold. They are any sort of cold, magical or otherwise, that uh, has no effect on them. So. If this is a fire variant of that same thing, fire would have no effect on it. Uh, perhaps instead of thinking about traps, we think of defenses, what we can get to defend from fire. Mm. So, so I was I was thinking, as you said, there were winter wolves who are more, uh, they, they sort of have uh, an affinity for ice, and this wolf has an affinity for fire, so I'm thinking maybe it's sort of a summer wolf. Then maybe we choose a different season and use that as sort of our own protection. Like maybe the summer wolf, maybe it, maybe it hates mud because there's lots of mud both in the spring and in the fall. There's mud all over the place. This dirty, sticky mud that we could use to maybe maybe trap some, maybe dig a deep hole and cover it in mud because flames they get they get put out when you put mud on them, so maybe we use the power of mud. That, maybe that's a good line of thinking, coin. But I think it'll just make it harder to move everywhere for everyone all around. You know, after walking in that storm for a few days. I feel like mud could be more of a hindrance than an advantage, possibly in this scenario. But I like where your head's at. Mm. It's out of the box thinking. Your casual patronizing is both <laughs> cuts me both deeply and is also very kind. Hey, <laughs> I do my um, best because it's all uh, I got. Sword. <clears throat> yeah, Van, Van, you were saying? Um, I was looking... Uh, do we have a map, actually? Yeah, it's on level 20. I, do we have a map? Yeah, you guys have a okay. map with the locations tied to it. Um, does anyone have the map, actually? I I would say Druck probably would, since he's been a guide around the area. I'm, though, I'll leave that up to Justin. You most likely do. Okay. Uh, could you lay it out for a second? Yeah, Druck will roll it out. Put okay. like but, put his mug on one end and then put yeah, one of the part. mugs of the fire stuff. Flame tongue. Flame tongue. Flame tongue. Flame tongue. <laughs> <Get> <laughs> <my> tongue. <laughs> uh, 
Then I'll point to the map and, and, and point out that, well, uh, east of Giant's Cradle appears to be a river that comes south from Lake Anundial, which, if we could lure it to the river, a large amount of water, if even if we could get into the into the shallows of it, could provide protection from fire. Mm. We and could there, get it underwater. Is there be plenty of mud at the river as well? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So look at the yeah. map. The river is about ten miles east of Giant's Cradle, and the den is, is it? Yes. Each hex is ten. Each hex is each hex is ten miles. Oh. oh, okay. So we're it's like in this hex. Yes. And yeah. okay. The, I didn't realize uh, how many. How yeah, big those and were. the the wolf den is two two and a half two miles northeast of this. So yeah, okay. So we'd have to like get it to chase us eight, eight miles. miles. Got yeah. it. Okay. Ooh. That'd be rough. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if I can prepare the spell, um, I can create water, um, but that only lasts for about, for a handful of seconds. But like, right. I can make it rain for like six seconds. I don't know if that'd produce enough water to protect us from fire breath. Mm. Mm. Well, maybe ask locals if uh, there's anything that can maybe one use something we can wear like a cloak and then when it catches fire we toss it aside hmm. Hmm. perhaps we should uh, perhaps it would be worth starting out in the morning to find the den get a scout it out and get a lay of the land see what the terrain looks like see what uh, if the den is a cave, if it's a thicket, if it's just a section of woods, and then make a plan based on what we can find from that. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Gather intelligence, yes. Mm hmm Kinda. Uh, yeah. You gonna eat the rock? <laughs> Garrett, you're taking advantage of me because I have no idea what rock you're talking about. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's a oh yeah you missed it so we when we killed the wolves okay. uh, we showed them each of them in their stomach had a stone with a rune mm -hmm. on it that uh, basically acts as a sending stone that only works on animals who have eaten it. Okay. Um, so if an animal so if an animal eats the stone they can communicate with presumably the pack leader. Just so everyone I mean, knows, the stone's about this big around. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, um. This big around. I think we should save that for when I go in to talk to the leader. Um, it it works know, at like, a distance. But, like, it, I can only wild shape for so long, and I don't know if I'm going to regurgitate or it's going to come out the other end if I return to my humanoid form after being a wolf for an hour or two. Right. So does that mean you just don't want to do it then, or...? No, I'll do it. I just need to, like... We need to do it, like, leading up to that conversation. Just right. Seems, uh, so we need to uh, find the nest first, and then once I'm within, like, you know, 30 minutes running distance, I can wild shape into a wolf and eat the stone, and then I can talk to him. Right. I mean, I, we could use the stone to lure, potentially lure him somewhere as well. Yeah. You don't, you don't necessarily need to be a wolf when he arrives. Well, yeah, but, like, is, is it going to have a negative impact on my form currently if I try to swallow it now? Or is it just not going to work? And will it ever work again if I turn into a wolf again? I just have so many questions because I don't know how this thing actually works. Uh, Justin, will I be able to get any answers to that after having cast Identify on it? Nope. Could I perhaps make an Arcana check to try and... Like bridge the gap between the druid magic and the <laughs> and the this thing magic. Sure, give me an arcana check. They okay. start having an existential crisis of, if I'm a wolf, am I really a wolf? <laughs> I mean, I know that uh, I know that the dominate. I, I discovered that dominate beasts works on wild shaped druids. <sighs> yeah, because they're technically a beast when they're wild shaped. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I got an eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. It most likely work just. Kenna needs to be able to swallow it without choking to death. Gotcha. It's like, it's so like, probably yeah, it's like this big around. Yeah. So probably easiest as some, as some sort of animal more than. So I'm gonna wild shape into a the animal. The animal will still need to make a, The animal will still need to make a con save to see if they can swallow it without choking. <laughs> okay. 
just oh, wrap it in some cheese high like a dog and then just toss it in and just slide right down. What about it? What if, what, what just what put it, it in a pill pocket and we're good. Exactly. What if you turn into a snake, like one of those ones that can just like unhinge their jaw and just like swallow anything? <laughs> I think most of the snakes have swim speeds. Oh, uh, that's a problem. Uh, yeah. yeah we'll I haven't it. unlocked that feature yet. Hey. I don't know. Some do. Ken, if you're if you're scared of, you know, passing it to your mouse, maybe, maybe you have some of the flame tongue, and then everything is numb. Flame tongue. It would be easier to just go down. It just it, it, because then you'd be like, there's nothing. I have no feelings there, and then it just could go just quickly. It would be less. Uh, it would be less of a nightmare, less of a waking nightmare, trying to swallow essentially a whole walnut, you know. Yeah. Not, not the not the meat of the nut, but the whole shell as well. That's what it it seems like. That size is it's an intimidating. It could never get inside of my tiny body, is what I'm saying. I don't yeah. have. I don't, I'm not as strong as you, Kenna. Oh, well, that's very kind of you, Coin. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure, we're not doing anything for the rest of the day. I could certainly try to swallow it right now. Um, let me just mentally go over which forms I can turn into and what their possible stats might be. Ooh, Badger's pretty good. Mm, badger wouldn't be able to swallow it. I just have to uh, but a giant badger... A giant badger in this place would probably freak people out. <laughs> yeah, they're maybe not at the mead, in the mead hall in the moment. Or an ox. I could do an ox. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think I'd do an ox when we're not in a large public place. Oh, speaking of oxes, uh, we have uh, our our ox has been put into the stable. All right, good, good. I hope she finds a nice dry bale of hay to sleep in. Mm -hmm. She's been through a lot. She certainly has been. Yes. Well, uh, what time is it? Uh, at this point, probably getting close to like 6 p.m. Okay. Well, we should probably figure out our sleeping arrangements. They got beds uh... upstairs. Well, but we have tents. <laughs> we well, could. The we gates, could... They close the gates at night, so you're not leaving once it gets dark. So the gates aren't opening for the rest of the night at this point. Can we like sleep outside or something? Uh, or do you no. want to sleep outside? Wolves, can I? I mean, like outside in the town, so like on the street or uh, something, or like in a park. No. You you don't have any parks here. We do, but people don't sleep in it. I mean, that is something that is first... very fr frowned upon in an undeal city that I have seen. There's a first time for everything coin. Hey, Druck, you up for sleeping in a park? Uh, although I am not the most comfortable in towns, uh, probably best not to, uh, break from local customs. I mean, I'm just trying to save us a few coins here. Mostly. Oh, it's uh, if you're doing a contract, uh, the rooms are f are free for the nat. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, sick! Let's get some rooms, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck sleeping outside. I want a free bed. <laughs> that does sound much nicer. Our most granola character just said, "Fuck sleeping outside." <laughs> <laughs> granola. What? Okay. <laughs> Nola <laughs> hippie, very uh, our 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 crunchy druid, just is like ah, I'm sleeping outside. This is amazing. <laughs> they were raised in the city. They're a city kid. It makes sense. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> Whoa. So All right, how I want a second story room with a balcony and a view of the square. Um, and if I could get some hot bath water at about 9 p.m., that would be a, amazing. We don't have baths here. Use beds. All right. All right. I mean, well, you take what you can get. All right. You all head upstairs to sleep the night away. Mm -hmm. Are there? Is it separate rooms, or is it just it's, like it's a all, bunk? It's all separate rooms. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. but, oh, sorry. Are there any? Uh, we had that colossal meal. Is there? Uh, if I could somehow take as much to go as well, possible. Yeah. If there's any left, Drux scooping it up. Yeah. So you're both there's a there's a there's a ton left to go. It's this this kind of meal is usually like fed to people who are like twelve like t groups of twelve. Oh, yeah. nice. So, okay. Um, yeah. It, 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 I don't have like it. I have I have a uh, coin has experience in scrounging, not exactly in keeping things good for a long time, but still, I'd like to to. If, if I notice that Druck is uh, saving stuff up, I kind of want to watch and see if I can help or learn how yeah. to scavenge or salvage as much. Because I, I also like the weight of the monetary imbalance that I now owe <laughs> Druck. I'm kind of like, oh no, it's so much food. It's so nice and so kind. Druck will be like taking some of the stuff and packing it away and see that coin's watching and he says I see these here better if wrapped with cloth those best in left out won't stay best for breakfast so this breakfast this this will last can be dinner tomorrow and he, he's just like yeah and uh, yeah as much he starts it, sorting it out as our as our quick rudimentary <laughs> keeping foods at safe temperatures or <laughs> which ones can dry which ones can stay yeah then i guess i guess we're between the two of us we're going to try and scrounge as much of it up as possible yeah easily cool 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 cool, cool. All right, uh, you can all head off to bed and get a long rest should you choose. Before mm -hmm. bed, Dax wanted to see if they could find if there was a some sort of courier service in the settlement, so they could deliver their they could send off their yeah. letter. Um, one of the patrons in the tavern um, gestures you and says, uh, "Oh, we got a back room." Uh, all that we send messenger pigeons from back there if you're interested. Appreciate it. It's free of charge, uh, usually, depending on the size of your parcels. Oh, we we might use, need to use bigger birds if it's. There are just a few small letters. Oh, well, and it's free of charge. Appreciate it. Then should go over there. Okay. Yeah, this is just like there's a back room. Um, that's kept separate from all like, the dining area because birds fucking stink. And uh, there's like 60 cages with just like big cages with like three pigeons in each just hopping around being happy. She's going to... Because she's done this before. Like she's sent quite yeah, a few letters. You've done this before. Yeah. So she's going to wrap one up, tie it good and tight to the pigeon, and she's going to send that one off to Trundleheim. Okay. And then she's going to do the same with the second letter. Mm -hmm. And she's going to send that one off to Coral Cove. Alrighty. You can send and... those letter contents privately. Yeah! Okay. So they both fly off. And then Dax goes up to their room. Alrighty. Um, before... Yeah. Before we go to bed, uh, Ven will just <clears throat> like before everyone splits off of their rooms. Ven will just say, "Oh, um, if you uh, have any clothes or armor or weapons or anything really that 
uh, you'd like cleaned for the morning. I can just pulls out his wand and waves it through the air a little bit, and uh, I can just I, I'd be happy to take care of that for you uh, before bed. And I can uh, I, I tend to wake up fairly early, so I could uh, have it all folded outside your door when we wake up in the morning. Nah, I'm good. All right. What? Uh, he'll I mean. find like a find like a, a stain from where his sleeve like leaned in something on the table and just wave his wand, say the magic words, and press the digitation, the stain gone. Druck disrobes. <laughs> oh good heavens. Oh He's my just... alright. <laughs> okay, alright. Yes, I will uh thank you. I'll take those. Uh, anybody else? Uh, anybody else interested? Is that all right? Uh, 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 Dax, would you would you be would you be is there anything I can clean I uh, can clean up for you? No, but I appreciate the gesture, then. Uh, yes, uh, happy, happy to help, happy to help. Druk, it looks like you have a few mats on the back of your neck there. What? Y your fur is a bit matted on the back. Should give He'll... that a good brushing. Yeah, I'll wiggle at it. And just kind uh... of like... <sighs> So, there we go. Uh, coin. Uh, I just I, to repeat the offer. I was uh, saying I can uh, if you if there's anything, any clothing, armor, weapons, anything that you need uh, cleaned, I can uh, clean those up for you. If you just uh, uh, hand them to me, I can clean them up uh, before I go to bed, and I can have them folded in front of your door before morning. Uh, thank you for the offer. Uh. <clears throat> Before I, uh, mm -hmm. thank you. I will, um, I will be, I will be good. Thank all right, you. all right. Thank you. So I'm just holding. So I'm just holding Druck's clothes while Druck is standing there naked. Yep. Right. Well, uh, Druck, I'll have these uh, cleaned up and outside your door before morning. Drugs. Of course. Appreciate it. Happy to help. He goes into his room. Alrighty. Yeah, I'll go to my room. I'll hang up my. I'll I'll hang up Druck's clothes and my clothes, and just from inside the uh, from inside the room. Uh, it's the extended version of the incantation for prestidigitation that you do when you're uh, casting it over a period of time. It goes. Uh, the the words are kind of hard to make out, but it goes something like. Da, 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 da. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Put them together and what are you? <laughs> All right. Um... I have a lead trade mark song. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, why I kept, that's why I kept it to like second and a half snippets. So yeah. um, everyone finds themselves in a room. The rooms are pretty small, like a single bed, and that's about it. Like a washing basin, um, which is funny. Um, but uh, everyone gets the benefits of a long rest and wakes up bright and early at five in the morning. All right, all right, all right. It is now, for those of you keeping track of the date, Thulden, the second of Blue Den. Then I'll get up a little early and uh, fold, nicely fold and press Drux clothes. Like, use the warming application of uh, press the digitation to, like, iron them, basically. Like, warm them up like they're fresh out of the dryer and fold them and press them oh. so they're, like, wrinkle-free. <laughs> And just like fold them nicely and leave them outside his door. Excellent. Like, Rook's uh, gonna crack open the door because he he'll definitely hear you do that and arrive. He's an early riser. He's just gonna peek and wa watch you. Me, he's gonna try to be stealthy about it, but uh, yeah, Such I don't know. Okay, there <laughs> we go. Uh. <laughs> Ten, you see him. Depends. What's Ben's, pa Ben's passive perception? Yeah, Ben sees him. Yeah, yeah. I, I pretend. I, I notice that you're trying to be sneaky, and I pretend that. Uh, I pretend that I missed you. I'll give you the, the privacy. <laughs> yeah, and he's gonna be enthralled about these cool, cool, like just the clothes that he's always had, and it just, he's never wash them outside of getting caught in the rain every one now and then. That's what color they're supposed to be. Yeah. 
Um, as you're all stirring and waking and doing your thing, um, someone roll me a d6 for today's weather. Garrett rolled last, so somebody I else rolled last a d6. Time, yeah. I'll uh, roll it. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, good. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, Caleb said it first, so Caleb gets it. Ah! <laughs> oh, okay. It could be good. could be bad. Let's see. That's a one. It's a clear, sunny day. Oh, that's not good. We want a downpour for this wolf fight. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Sometimes we want rain. Real, it's yeah. a really sunny day. You wake up and there's just like sunlight coming through the windows. Mm. What's that one Pokemon move? Sunny day. Rainy yeah. day? Some Flora cast Sunny Day. Oh. oh, I don't know that one. Druck's gonna go take the leftovers, the ones that won't last the what wouldn't last very long. He's gonna come by and bring them as breakfast offerings to everybody and either knocking at their door or seeing them out in the hall or in the the common area. Oh, thank you. Breakfast. Uh, yeah, coin coin steps out doing calisthenics in uh, in full full chain mail. Doing excellent. It's, uh, 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 it's like doing push ups. <laughs> doing wind sprints down the hall and back. It's doing suicides. Oh, the, oh the poorly named suicides. Yeah. Yeah, Poor they're really and... not great. No, no. The, a... the pacer. The pacer test. The, the fitness, fitness ground pacer, pacer yeah. test. <laughs> no, no. Every American oh, the beat high test. Student. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a TikTok meme last year. Uh, two years ago. Ben, you have the rune on you, right? The stone? Yeah. The red and brown colors on it are very similar to the colors of the wolf pelt cloak that uh, Keswick was wearing. Hmm. Well, maybe <clears> there is something to that. But it's a new day. Sunny day. A warm day. It is uh, a cool day because it's autumn. Uh, as you're leaving, Keza kind of approaches. Uh, just, uh, some, just some uh, hints before you go. Uh, beasts of burden have issues moving through that forest. So if you got, like, you know, horses and that, you're better off on foot in there. That makes sense. Uh, also, probably don't want to have them there as bait. True, or you do. Well, um, expensive bait. And if any of you are good at looking for tracks, look for tracks. Which I assume. Anyways, uh, and stay away from its fire breath. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to tell you how much damage it does, but I don't want to. <laughs> is that because you can or just because you don't fully under understand its capacities for violence and yeah, destruction that, that one. Uh, great also forgot to mention this one last night I was drunk uh, you can also breathe smoke out, out smoke hmm. bad visuals it can make like a smoke screen and hide in it that's not good for me. Not good for anyone. Essentially blinded while we're in it. Bad times. Anyways. Do you or your other hunters have any sort of fire resistance that you tried? Uh, yeah. Not getting hit by it. We, uh, generally don't have the means to make fire resistant stuff here. You'd be more uh, akin finding that in the capital, in the Dreamweave district. Unfortunately, we get, it would take a long time for us to get there and bring that stuff, kind of stuff back. Yeah, it is a long ways away. Do you know if that pelt you're wearing has any fire resistant properties? It wasn't I'm not too sure. Uh I don't know. It's mine though. I was simply asking a question. 
I don't know. I would assume so, possibly, but that kind of stuff is magically a sort of magical, innate thing that creatures have. I it's don't imagine. Magically it, delicious. Yeah, I don't imagine it's part of it when I took the skin off. All right. Well, uh, we should be uh, heading out. Thank you for all the uh, valuable information that you have bestowed upon us. Um, mm. I guess the sooner we deal with this problem, the better for everyone involved. Yep. All right, all right, all right. And then daylight should get started. Probably a good idea. Yes, did we want to buy any of those, um, of the, of the snap traps that they had suggested? Mm, probably good for smaller wolves. Yeah, be a good idea to just have some on hand. And if we don't end up using them for this, we could always just reuse them for hunting. Okay, and then on the road. Point the point. The point's gonna run ahead and go down and uh, buy two traps. Okay. Two of the snap traps. Okay, so each of the bear traps mm -hmm. are worth uh, five silver. So that's a gold total. One gold, one gold piece total. Ooh. Oh. And, and each one is ten pounds. Okay. So that is. Oof. Yeah. That's a big purchase for coin. And he's gonna just mm, like rub that gold coin before he gives it back. Just... So for coin, the trap yeah. is literally almost as big as you. Oh, absolutely. So that is <clears throat> two of these slung, yeah, over, just duck waddling them proudly back to the to the group. Uh, oh. Hey, coin. You need, you need some help there. Or you got it. <clears throat> I've got, uh, I, I've got them. Yeah, I, I can, I can do this. Yeah, I can, I can carry, I can carry the traps unless uh, anybody else wants to have one to look as cool as I do right now. I would like one. Yes. O okay. I want to look cool too. <clears throat> You've done me a great favor. <laughs> Okay. You guys look both look super cool. Drag a pose. <laughs> Booty. Uh, and the gates <laughs> the gates leading north out of the city are open for the morning. Um, as we head out of the city, like through the gate, I'm going to summon the spirit of my mother okay. to lead so, us in the general direction of the wolf's den. You all see this ghost appear. What does yeah. the go what does the spirit look like? Um, the spirit is a feminine humanoid uh, with long braided. Uh, if you could see the color brown hair, um, and like a little cosmo flower uh, stuck in on, uh, on one of her ears, and she's wearing a simple. Um, uh, bright bodice and uh, beige-ish um, underdress um, it's, and it's kind of like it kind of fades fog-like at the base um, but she's very kind looking um, but kind of sickly um, and she doesn't speak she just nods and starts heading off yeah she's, the spirit just, the starts, just starts immediately drifting off to the northeast uh... What's um, going on? Um, I can summon spirits to help guide us for an hour or so. It's, it's something just to get us started. She won't be able to take us all the way there. Um, but she can get us going in the general direction. That is fascinating. And the spirit 
d- does not avoid tra- traps, monsters, or any form of obstacle along the way, and just drifts into yeah. the forest and keeps going. Yeah, so we've got to, like, catch up. We can't lose her, because um, she just goes straight there. So, like, uh-huh. let's go. Uh-huh. Let's walk in question, all right? I'll answer your questions Over on the way. Subclass. <laughs> well, we should try to be quiet once after a while. It's two miles, yeah. right? Yes. So, yeah. That's about a 40-minute trip, but not counting the difficult terrain of this forest. Uh-huh. At least also, it's not raining. Yes. Also, <laughs> the spirit projects an eerie, ethereal green light in a 15-foot radius. Mm-hmm. But it's also Makes daytime. It easy to follow. But it's also daytime, yeah. so. But also, the forest yeah. canopy is very thick, so it's dark. But you can see this green light in the forest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, just ask me any questions on the way, and I'm just gonna start following the spirit guide. Also, fun fact: uh, <laughs> any friendly creatures in the ghost radius of light gain advantage on death saving throws. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it is pretty far ahead. It's about uh, 60 feet ahead already. Just Actually, what's its movement Dre- speed? Drek's going to keep an eye out for uh, 80 feet. tracks. Uh, more specifically, big boy tracks or big girl tracks or, you know, big wolf tracks. <laughs> um, Survival check. Okay. Eighteen. Uh, wolf tracks going in the direction that the ghost is going. Cool. He's... Yeah, he's going to make sure he doesn't lose them, but also, you know, keep it the group. Alrighty. Mm-hmm. What's the marching order? Because this is very narrow thicket, so this would be a single um, file marching order. Uh, I think actually, Kenna's... Actually, it, it could be two side by side at the most. Okay. I think Kenna's in the front to kind of keep track of Your their ghost. spirit. Yeah. Yeah, and Druk's going to be up there as well. Okay. He can, okay. I mean... He got he got pinched last time, but that was he's not gonna go sixty feet away from the group any like unless it's not difficult terrain. <laughs> Who's next? You do two side by side at the most. Um, <clears throat> I suppose a uh, coin would be next. Okay. But I'm also as we're as we're quietly moving, I'm also kind of subconscious like self consciously aware that I am just shaking with every step like a like a maraca like (laughs) chain mail going Uh, who's next Dax will be at the back alright Ven and Dax yeah yeah. And you say, like, I want to be somewhere in the back to mid- middle yeah. to back area. That's where wizards should be. Um, yep. <laughs> uh, you guys trying to do this quietly, not to like, alert the attention of wolves? Mm-hmm. Yeah, drugs S- Stealth checks, you. everybody, Quiet, please. Yeah. I'm going to cast Guidance on Coin. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> so, disadvantage, but with the d4. Yeah. So, here we go. I'll do this one on the table. Clang, clang, clang. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. So the first one is a 14. That's good. The second one is a 16. So a 14. And then you said guidance gives me what? D4. A D4. Additional D4. So D4. All right. So. <laughs> D4. Oh, shit, I got four, so 24. 24. Then. Natural 20 for a 22. Nice. Kenna. Uh, natural 19 for a dirty 20. Nice. Druk. Uh, Druk got stuck in a cocklebur bush. Uh, he got he got an 11. <laughs> okay. Dash. All that freshly brushed fur worse. is just puffing out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Dax got a sweet, sweet 21. Alrighty. Oh. <laughs> you do fairly well trekking through this forest. Druk is covered in burrs at this point. <laughs> um, and it's it's very narrow thicket. There's oh. no paths through oh. here. Um, and you can hear birds chirping and you hear animals kind of like scurrying around. Uh, in the distance you can just hear <laughs> just, you know, nature noises, I guess. 
Um, and after about an hour, um, the ghost whoosh, disappears, and you see what looks like you see raised ground, like like a hill almost, um, where trees are also growing over top of this hill, and their large gnarled roots are kind of coming down in front of what looks like a den large den so it's like a cave-like den yes but made it it's from the earth not from rock or anything right yeah it's like yeah it's like a it's like a hollowed out hill yeah okay and it's rather large and you can from and you guys i'd say you guys are about 60 feet away at this point because uh, that's when it comes into the view because of how thick this forest is and you can see the tracks going into this den some of them are normal wolf-sized tracks if you're accustomed to some of these tracks are big as fuck. They're about this big around. Okay. Um, and just the smell of death and decay is just emanating from this entire area. Uh, everyone give me perception checks, please. And this is smell-based perception checks. And then, uh, yeah, Fen, what'd you get? Uh, whether or not uh, the the answer to did I pass the check and the number, or did I pass the check in German and the number are the same? Nine. Nice. Kenna. Nineteen. Nineteen. Coin. Muted. Six. Oof. Druck. Twenty six. Dax. Eighteen. Okay. 26? Uh, Kenna, Druck, and Dax. Um, there's something else to the air, like a different smell. It's the best way I can describe Let me pull up the word here. Why do I need to... Uh, it smells like, like the faintest hint of charcoal. And cooking flesh coming from the den. Would now be a good time for me to swallow that stone. I don't think it particular. Well, I don't think it particularly matters at the moment. I think we want to do that while you're far away, so we can't hear the sounds of you <laughs> turning into an animal. <laughs> yeah, or or or, or, gagging. Not, or, or yeah, gagging on the on the rock. <laughs> it won't go down. <laughs> Uh, the benefit of that, I think, the benefit of that is that we could we could communicate with it and lure it out from a distance. Uh, also, We're already here now. As you guys did approach, I need, I need nah, never mind. Cell checks are fine. Okay. <sighs> All right. Would anyone so, like to get closer? We could uh, set up traps in case we need to retreat, and we can run over the traps, and whatever's chasing us might snap them. That's true. So should we, um, you know, like, make an obvious trail behind us to, like, guide them toward the traps? No, no, it would just be our retreat. Once they see us, if we, if one of us, uh, spooks them, we run away, wait for them to hit one of our traps after we retreat past it, and then... Turn on them. Give a little okay. heel turn and go at them once they're trapped. All right. You know, I make a lot of noise. I could volunteer to be the dinner bell for the wolves. Well, do we do we feel confident that we are ready for an attack? Is the question. Should we do we do we have enough information, or do you think do you think we should go in and? attack now or should we retreat and plan more I do think we'll be ready but uh, we can at least get this started and he's just gonna put a trap right where we're standing like right a little bit in front so survival check to set it up uh okay. guidance oh thank you 
Uh, so that's a D plus a D4? Yep. Yes. Ooh, nice. Uh, a total of 21. Okay. Are you trying to conceal it with leaves or anything? Yeah, yeah. Okay, then it seems like you've concealed it. Yeah. But uh, um, I'm also going to point it out to everyone so they know what it's like so they can hop it. Sick. Um. Alright. So. We don't need to use the traps. We can. Position ourselves around the entrance and above it. Ambush. Running out is a good idea. That way we can. That way also. It can't catch all of us in its breath. Yes. Uh, I'm going to take while while Drek is actually setting up the trap. I'm going to take the time and cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay. Are there any other paths into the den? Nope. There are uh, no. You, now you can see no. No other trails in or out. Okay. Uh, so we're 60 feet back yep where does it start to open up it doesn't really start to open up oh okay so the whole thing is like difficult terrain and and wooded and thicketed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for me, I imagine that changes my effective range. Like the, like I imagine my sight range isn't much further than sixty feet. Correct. Most likely. Okay, I will take that into account. Should I put my trap here near the other trap, or what do you? Would you guys do you think that this trap should go here, or should I wait and put it closer? Perhaps uh, Druk, who is more proficient in sneaking, could get closer, but that's only if you're comfortable. Oh, I would be comfortable handling passing the torch of the trap setting to someone more skilled than I? Sure. Uh, Alright, I'll go do this. Um, oh, we should actually, we should probably spread out first, just in case you alert it. Right. That way, in that in the case that happens, yes, we don't want to all be in the same spot. Uh, I'll stick with the truck, try to help out however I can. Right. Uh, and then after we get all the traps set, I can let wild shape into a wolf, maybe? Or do we still want to save that if we're attacking now? I don't know if that'll have... Uh, I don't know if even saving. I think if, I mean, if we're attacking, if we kill it, it's it's over. It's done. Yeah. I mean, I'll get extra... Uh, I'll be a little sturdier if I wild shape it oh, either way. Yeah. So, Absolutely, yes. Yeah. I want to take it by surprise. All yes. right. All right. So spread out, and then once the trap is set, we can flush it out, I suppose? Yes. Alright. Alright. Uh, just a thought. I, once we set the trap up, I could go inside and poke it and run out. I think a loud, no a loud noise might be sufficient, and that way you don't have to worry about getting trapped inside with it. And also, aren't you better at shooting things than poking them? Well, poke it with a bolt. Oh. Uh, but I'm pretty good at uh, surprise attacks. So I think it'll work. Might do more good than harm. If not, can always run away knowing you'll, you're there. Mr. Uh, professional judgment. All right. Wish me luck. He's gonna try yeah. and get closer. Put should we, trap should down. we split up at the same time so that way, mm -hmm. in the event the drug sets it off, we can 
be separated. Uh, I think, yeah. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to cast Guidance. Um, that lasts for a minute. Um, uh, if you're moving at a slow pace to get to the... I imagine where you want to go, it's going to take more than a minute to get there because it's 60 feet away. It's going to take more than a minute to get 60 feet? If you're going at a very slow pace, yeah. Isn't slow pace half movement? Half speed? It's also very thick terrain. So that's, that'll, be, that'll be a quarter speed. Okay, fine. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right. And truck's gonna try to get closer. Stealth check. And okay. So I think yeah, we're all spreading out, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say I can. Uh, how how difficult would it be to get on top on top of the the hill? You'd be making a stealth check. Okay. Is, is it a stealth check regardless, or yeah, you're trying to sneak, out? sneak around to get to where you want to mm -hmm. go? Yeah. Okay, so there's I can like, I'll go like for dried the... leaves and twigs everywhere. Got mm -hmm. it. I will. Uh, if anyone, ha no one has any objections, I will take the top of the hill. I'm. What is? Also, Drock, what'd this. you get for your soul check? Twenty-three. Okay, you get to the mouth of the cave. All right. Then uh, I'm gonna put a put the trap down. Survival check. Fourteen. Okay. It's not as well hidden. Um, I'm gonna wild shape into a giant lizard how and big's climb. A giant, how big is a giant lizard? It's a large beast. Okay, so you would most likely be disturbing terrain around you, so it might be a little noisy. Okay. Um. All right. In that case, I'm gonna. Could I wild shape? Once I get up to the position I want. Yes, but it's still depending on what your wild shape is going to be. It might be noisy. Okay. Um. Then I'll stick as a wolf. I think. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll I'll be a wolf. Alrighty. So you wild shape into a wolf. Mhm. Mm and I'm gonna stand up about fifteen feet away from Drax, also on Drax, then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On top of the hill. So anyone who's trying to move around to get to a different advantage points, I need stealth checks. Fifteen. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. Wait, it's an eighteen because okay. wolves have a plus That's four right. instead they do. of a plus one. And Ven, what'd you get? Uh, fourteen. Okay, as you're kind of clambering up the hill. You hear from inside the den, you hear a. <laughs> Go see what's outside. Uh, it's definitely Coin pulling the sword off his back or getting the. pulling the big long sword out. Just ring up, getting ready. Okay. Uh, in order. Yeah, Druck wants to get. Uh, surprise attack on whatever is coming out, so he's gonna prep for that. I need another soul check then. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. How you hiding? Uh, he'll get above the the entrance. Okay, so you're gonna be with Ven then. Yeah. Okay. You hear footfalls approaching the mouth of this den and those of you who can actually see into the mouth of the den can see three wolves just kind of glancing around the people on top cannot see this yet because they're remaining within the mouth of the den just looking around how high up is the top of the hill from the uh, floor about 15 feet great thank you Um, as uh, so, uh, Dax, have you moved it all from the middle? I am off to the side. Okay. It's like if there's all like the thick ass foliage and shit, she's mm -hmm. kind of like in her tall seven-ish feet, just kind of behind the tree, glancing and looking. 
has her uh, great axe in her arm, just watching, trying and, to be hidden. Yeah, one of the wolves is going to sniff the air. <laughs> and it kind of turns its head back deeper into the den. And those of you who are on like the forest floor level, which I think is Dax and Coin, and you can see the wolf, one of the wolves at the entrance of the den, its like mouth is opening and closing like it's speaking, but you don't hear any words coming out. And its eyes kind of dart around, like in the general vicinity where certain people are hiding. Wolves are real good at perception, y'all. Mm -hmm. If Coin can see Dax, she, Dax would just be putting a finger up to their mouth. Just like. <laughs> Dax is just holding in their breath. And then one of the wolves kind of slowly saunters out and sniffing in the direction where Druk went. Uh, 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 <clears throat> then uh, I guess Coin sees the wolf going towards Druk and uh, rolls out into the middle of the path. All right. That's where we're going to pick up next week with the wolves alerted. Okay. Because if he see, if he see, if, even if he's going towards I'd the... I'd still get a surprise round. Oh, I'd... next week? It's all right. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the real good at perception, y'all. Roll a 14 plus 3 for 17. Maybe. Probably not. So, You're right. She did a good folks. thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. no longer... No, Yeah, there would be no longer a surprise round. Yeah. I mean, so, you're... uh, next week. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Thanks for the raid. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Good night.